Today, I have compiled every single one through episode we have ever done on the channel into one big movie for you guys today. Now, enjoyed the evolution of my face cam, of my microphone going from absolutely terrible to absolutely amazing. A complete evolution over the past year or so of playing One Fruit Simulator. So if you guys do enjoy and want to see more movies like this, make sure you guys drop a like. Also, feel free to subscribe. And without further ado, grab your popcorn, grab your water, and enjoy the video, guys. Recently, a lot of people have been commenting on my videos to play this pretty big simulator game. No, it's not Anime Fighter Simulator. It's called One Fruit Simulator. Let's go check it out today. Okay, guys, welcome to One Fruit Simulator for the very first time on our channel. Now, a lot of you guys have been commenting on my YouTube videos going, you should check out this One Fruit Simulator. Day 25 of asking Rob to play One Fruit Simulator. Loads and loads of comments like that. So today we are on One Fruit Simulator and let's just, let's just get going. So I've heard it's a little bit like Blocks Fruits. I hope I don't get <laughs> any angry people in the comments for saying that. But yeah, here we are. There is a little quest guide just behind us. So let's get going. This is just to set our spawn. So go on then. We will set our spawn point. And is there a way to sprint? Okay, yes, we've got control button. Uh, press E for a random fruit. You need to be at least level 30. And I think we're level zero. I don't know where to check. Yeah, bottom left, we are level one. Okay, so you come in and we need to press one to fight this guy. And okay, they are actually fighting back which is kind of crazy and i think we've built up our level to do ground smash this is a lot already there is a lot to take in and are we gonna lose this fight um i think we might lose this fight how on. what if i put on my auto clicker am i still gonna lose okay well it looks like we're gonna win here so there we go we received seven berries 14 xp 17 mastery and i think we just picked up a fruit off the ground it looks like we picked up the bomb fruit. What What do we do? We can store, eat, or drop. Okay, well, we ate, <laughs> ate the bomb fruit, and I think that's our first fruit. That's kind of cool. I don't know if it dropped from that guy there, but that was kind of nice. So we've now got the bomb fruit, which we, just like block suits, you unlock different abilities at different mastery levels, which is cool. There is trading hub. There is, what is this over here? Join the Marines or join the Pirates? I don't know who to join. Well, everyone else is on Pirates. So, um, let's go ahead and just, <laughs> let's just follow everyone and join the Pirates. Why follow the orders of these fools? Pirates are free to do whatever they want. You're damn right we're free to do whatever we want. So, we are now on the Pirates, which is really, really cool. There is also a summer update in this game with daily reward events and stuff. I'm still trying to figure out this game, so we're not, we're not going to get into any of that just yet. All right, well, let's go ahead and check out this fruit then, guys. So, we can just hit normally, but then we've got this Z ability, target explosion, which is kind of cool, which is kind of sick. So, we're going to have to level this up. Let's just keep our fruit on and keep using an, our target explosion, which does a decent bit of damage. Okay, that's really, really nice. I want to find out our first quest. So, our first quest is right in front of us, quest level one. And as I can see just in the distance there, there is multiple other quests. Hey bro, those bandits are invading the city. Can you defeat them? Of course I can, of course I can. And I'm guessing the guys we have just been fighting are the bandits. Yes, okay, well, he's already hitting me. Let's keep using our fruit. And how many bandits do we need to take out? We need to take out four bandits here. So not too bad at all. And let's take out four bandits really, really quickly. And there we go. So we have finished our first quest there. Not too bad. And do we have to come over to hand it in? Uh, no, I think it automatically hands it in. So we are now level four. There's an auto clicker down here, which I'm guessing we have to pay for. Oh, no, we don't have to pay for it. That's really cool. That's really, really nice. So if we're just coming forwards here over in this first area, there is the next quest is level 10. And the quest after that is level 20. All right, so we need to do a good bunch of leveling up. I'm guessing we still need to just farm and farm the first quest over and over again. There is also this little shop over here. If we come and have a look, do you want to buy one sword for 2,000 berries? I don't think I have that much. No, I've got 300. Okay, well, we're just going to farm this quest a bunch and let's just get a bunch of levels really quick. 
And okay there, guys. So after a couple more rounds of that quest, we have just hit level 10 there. And our fruit is level 16 and it's doing a good bit of damage. There was also this fruit market over here where you can buy different fruits. The bomb fruit's actually out of stock. So that might mean it's quite good. Let me know down in the comments if you guys play this game, how good's the bomb fruit? But that gives me hope. But I want to run over and start with the next quest. There's also this mastery bar that I keep building up down here. But I'm not too sure what mastery does yet. I couldn't find it in the menu or anything. So if I'm missing something, let me know. But there is a few new codes. So let's go ahead and enter some new codes really quick. So just looking in the group here, there is the code 90k likes. So we got item 6 stream mystery bag. We got a bunch of boosts over on the left, which might be quite nice, actually. That might help us progress a little bit faster. Our next code is 100k faves. Uh, also gives us a bunch of boost. And the last new code is 15 active. So I'm guessing they had 15,000 players. Uh, apparently the code doesn't exist anymore. So don't use that code, but use the other codes. And we've now got two hours of boosts. So it gives us boosts on literally everything. It gives us coin boost, power boost, mastery boost, and what level boost I'm guessing that is XP. So we need to make the most of this now, guys. So level 10 quest, it wants us to take out ten, five strong bandits, which aren't these guys. Oh, okay, so they might be these guys down at the beach. Let's have a look. Um, Strong Bandit. Okay, well, they've got 330 health, guys, which is absolutely mental. But I'm not going to lie. This Bomb Fruit does a good bit of damage. We're now doing 11 per hit. And if we just go ahead and use our Target Explosion, let's go ahead and use it on this guy. We are doing 55 on a Target Explosion, which is amazing so let's quickly go ahead and take out five of these strong bandits it's not too bad oh there's a guy here to help us as well which is nice shouldn't be too bad taking out these strong bandits because we are still doing good i mean they are doing a bit more damage to us but these boosts will help us a bunch with leveling up and progressing through this game so make sure you guys use those codes because that is really really helpful and i'm not gonna lie guys i've literally played this game for about 15 minutes getting that first quest done and I'm not going to lie, I'm really enjoying this game. Because I never really got the full Blocks Fruits experience. So I'm guessing this is now, like, my turn to have uh, an experience of a good Bandit Beater Simulator. So this is really nice. And there we go. We have completed that quest. And we went up two levels for that one. And the next quests are level 20. So we're just going to rattle through these a couple more. We are 11 levels off on our Mastery as well. Now 10 levels off the Mastery getting our next mastery ability which hopefully will be nice i wish there was a way to get a bit more energy so we could use our ability more but this is really really cool this guy's gonna help us so let's get a bunch of levels this guy's actually almost dead which is not good i need to help this guy okay and we've been leveling up really really fast here guys i'm not gonna lie this quest would be a lot harder if it wasn't for this guy give me a little hand but we are on the same quest so it's actually really nice but we're level 19 already, and we've done this quest about four times, make this the fifth time. And yeah, it's going really, really well. We've been low HP the full time. But the one more of these quests, and we will be ready over for the level 20 quest, which is really, really nice. So two more of these strong bandits. I'll let this guy take the first hit. And honestly, this bomb fruit is really nice. We are one like mastery level off being level 30 and getting our new ability, which will be so, so cool. But there we go. Level 20 has been hit, which is amazing. Uh, this is really, really good. Still curious what this mastery over here does. But let's just quickly click a few times and get our level 30 on our mastery. There we go. So mastery 30 on our fruit. Um, I, I, I don't know if that's done anything. Let me get past. Let me get level 31 really quick. Oh, okay. So it must, it must be overall mastery that we need to get level 30 to use that not just the fruit mastery. Uh, that's not a problem. But let's go ahead and pick up our level 20 quest where we need to take out the bandit leader once, which I'm guessing is this guy over here. Guys, I'm having so much fun. I don't know if you can tell. But here is the bandit leader over here. I feel like he's going to destroy us. He looks super, super strong. Let's give it a try, though. Let's use our ability. We are doing a decent bit of damage. And so is he, though. He is doing more damage than we can regenerate. Come on, let's see if we can take it out once. This is actually going to be super, super close fight. I'm not even going to lie. Come on, come on, come on. We need to keep using our targeted explosion here. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so close, guys. We need to get one more ability off if we want to win. Ah, no, 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 no. 
Oh my god, I'm one hit. I'm one hit. Oh my goodness, guys. We won with 13 HP left. Woo! That was close. That was close. Okay, well, we need to do this quest a few more times. I want my buddy to come back over and help me here. But yeah. Wow, that, that was really, really close. Let's just pick up the quest again. I wonder, if we come back over to the spawn, is there a way that I can just respawn? So, back over at spawn here, guys. If we look at the map, so I'm guessing we are the first world here. And to go over into the next world, it wants you level 35 plus, then 75, 120. It's kind of nice that this is the map and will kind of help you guys with the level, which is super, super nice. So let's just get our level up a couple more times. We've now got full HP again, but that last one is tough. Level 35, let's get that really quick. And I will catch you guys if something cool happens in the way. Okay, here, guys. So I was just messing about a little bit. I haven't even taken out that boss again. But if we come into our bag over here, we got these random race codes, which I think, well, I'm guessing we got them from code. So we are currently human. I don't actually know what the best one is. We are now a cyborg. Hold on. I'm going to do a quick Google and see which one's the best. All right, guys. Well, apparently human is the best race here, guys. I've just been watching a video. Let me know if I'm wrong down in the comments. But there is also a bunch of extra codes that we haven't used that I also found in the same video. So let's just go ahead and use all of these. Make sure you guys use this part of the video to get all of your codes because I think these might give you extra spins. I'm a little bit annoyed because I was on human, but I just span off it and got cyborg. Oh my goodness, there's so many codes here, guys. I'm, I'm not going to read them all out, but just use this part of the video. Use this part to go across and get all the codes really, really quickly. I'm going to try and waffle whilst I put all the codes. That one doesn't exist, apparently. Does this one? Okay, well, that is all the codes used for now. But let's come back into our bag and let's see if we can respin back over. We also got some bandit armor and armor worn by the leader of the bandits. Oh, okay. It gives us plus 35 health. So of course we're going to equip that. We've only got four more change of race. Okay. We got Oni. We got beast people. I don't know if that's any good. Uh, let's go ahead. Okay. We got human. Okay. I'm happy now. I'm happy. And we got some new armor. So we've got even more health. Let's go ahead and keep leveling up our fruit here because this is excellent. Okay, I'm happy with how this is going. We are currently level 26. We need to get level 25. And let's take on this guy really quick. We've got our buddy back helping us. Let's go. That is really, really good. So level 35 should come in no time. We've got a, like four hours worth of boosts over on our left-hand side. And apparently, this human race is best for leveling up and leveling up your stats. I don't know if I'm being completely wrong here. I hope there isn't actually stats that I need to be leveling into. Let me have a quick look. There is stats here, but I don't think there's anything that we need to put points into like block fruits. So let's keep going. This guy is telling us to use code summer and code shadow. Oh, there you go. Code summer and code. Okay. Well, shout out to that guy. Give us a few extra codes. Really, really nice. And let's just get back to fighting. And all right there, guys. So we have just hit level 35, which is really, really nice. I also discovered we can increase our HP by training our defense here. So if we go ahead and level up our defense once, we go up 15 HP every time we train our defense. But we're going to be a little glass cannon today. I also discovered that we have got a dash, which is really, really cool. And I'm still upside down. You can train defense whilst running about. This is actually kind of cool. Probably worth it. But we're just going to keep the fruit out for now. But we need to move over to the level 35 island. So let's go ahead and do that. There is a ship seller over here. I'm guessing we're just going to go for the small ship. It costs 25k berries. Fortunately, we have enough and we just need to get it from our inventory now. So if we go to ships and spawn, you need to be closer to water. We are literally in water. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Um, I don't think it spawned. But we're pretty close to water. Let's see if we can spawn this. Okay, so our boat has spawned all the way over there. And let's go ahead and jump on. Um, I don't know if there's a map which is going to tell me which way to go. How do I drive this? Okay, right. We're on the boat. Um, let's get going. Okay, well, I think we're at the next island. Jungle Island. It sounds like it should be familiar over here. Let's just go ahead and set our spawn over here. I hope this is the place. I really hope. There wasn't too much of a distance to travel. And yes, it looks like it was the place because it is level 35. So 
Once again, let's get going with this quest. These guys are level 45, but we don't want to defeat them yet. It wants us to defeat six monkeys, which are somewhere just over here, which are level 30. Okay, so we should be okay to take these guys out. Should be. If not, we're going to up our HP a bunch. But our buddy is come to our rescue once again. So let's go ahead and smash through these really, really quickly. And I don't actually know what level I need to get to. I think if I see correctly over there, it's level 50. I don't have my glasses on. My eyesight's not that good today. But I think it... Oh, our buddy just died. And there we go. Right. So we've hit level 50 there. So it's now time to move over onto the next section. We did pretty well there. I'm not going to lie. Did we get anything else drop? Unfortunately, we didn't. But the level 50 quest, I'm guessing, is just going to be the gorillas. Yeah. Okay. So six gorillas for 20,000 XP, which will give us like... Oh, this might give us a lot of XP per one. If it's 20,000 XP and we've got double XP... We could be in for some serious leveling, but we've got our buddies here to help us again. So let's go ahead and take on our first gorilla here. And let's just take out this first quest because I'm really, really curious how much XP we're actually going to get here because this is going to be nice. And it looks like we've got a pretty strong person here with us. All right. And here is the last gorilla that we need to take out here. Oh, it's actually quite close. That got us dead weak. And we went up. I think it was only the two levels actually, but... That is really, really good. It must already have the 20,000, uh, the double XP on the 20,000, which is absolutely amazing. So the next quests over here are le only level 60, actually. So we will breeze through these pretty quickly. Let's go back to helping out our buddy. Yeah, so let's get level 60 really quickly. And here we go, guys. We are about to hit level 60 there. There we go. Right. So level 60 has been hit here, which is really, really nice. The level 60 quest, I'm guessing, is just the boss over here. Defeat the Gorilla King, which is... Is this him right at the back here? Yes, it is. Okay, well, here is the Gorilla King. I don't think we're quite strong enough to take them out yet. So we're going to build up a little bit of defense. Unless this guy wants to fight him. Okay, well, it looks like this guy wants to fight him as well. So we might regen a little bit of health. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, we're going for him. We're going for him. Let's see if we can take out the Gorilla King. We have got our abilities on. And I think we might be able to if we can keep getting our abilities off. Because we are doing like 188 damage per one now. And here we go. The Gorilla King is dead. Perfect. Okay. Well, we went up a few levels there. I think it was... Was it 75 for the next area? Or was it 120? I'm pretty sure... It, well, I would think it was 75. So, we need to keep on farming this Gorilla King a bunch. Going back and forth. Taking him out a bunch. We need to get our health up as well. So, we don't die at all. We haven't died yet. So, fingers crossed we don't die at all. So we're going to get level 75 and let's see where we're at after we've taken out this Gorilla King a few more times. And there we go, guys. So we are now level 75, which didn't take too long at all. Thanks to the help of our buddy who's been following us all day. But this is really, really good. So let's just come back over the map and have a little check. So yes, it is 75 for the next area. So let's go ahead and... Is this guy good? Let's check quickly. Did we get anything in our bag? Anything new? Oh, okay, we've got the Gorilla Crown, which gives us 5% extra damage, which is lovely. Let's have a look at our Gorilla Crown really quick. And we are looking absolutely fantastic. So let's keep our auto-click on and let's go ahead and spawn in our new boat. Let's have a quick look where this island is. I'm guessing over that way. I don't know, but let's, let's just spawn in a ship. It costs 50k for a ship over here. And let's go into our inventory and put out our new ship. So if we come over, we've got a better ship. We need to despawn one and spawn this one in. Okay, well, ooh, well, this ship looks really, really cool. I hope it's faster to get over to our new place. So let's just follow this guy. I'm guessing this is the world over here. Wait. Um, <laughs> um I think he just jumped in the water. I'm a little bit concerned. Um. Oh, wait, I need to pick him up. No, no, no. Get on, get on. Okay, right. Me and our buddy, we are going over to the next world now. So let's go flying over at level 75, both of us. He has been helping us out an absolute bunch. I don't actually know who he is. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel bad. I feel bad. But here we go. Here is the next island, the Crown Island. And we are here. Okay. That is really, really nice. But anyway, guys, we are going to call the video there today. We are over in the third area. Let me know what you guys think of this game down below. Personally, 
I really, really, really enjoy it. And let me know if you guys want to see another episode of this, because I'm not going to lie, I might just go ahead and record another episode right now, really quickly. Anyway, guys, have a great and wonderful rest of your day. I'm really, really happy with this game. Peace out. Okay, guys, today we are back on One Fruit Simulator today. Now, we are back on this game mainly because I really, really enjoyed it last time we played it. And I'm getting a few of my friends in the Discord into it. So make sure you guys come and join the Discord. You know, you get notified, all that stuff when I upload a video. And we just hit over a thousand members like a week ago. So thank you for everyone that's joined. But make sure you come and join as well. Anyway, in last episode, you guys seem to like it, whoever commented on it. So today, people have been telling me that I need to go and get a new fruit from the random fruit roller person that was back in our first area. So that is exactly where we are going to go today. We are going to spawn in our boat and we are going to go back to the spawn area. And our friend is here once again to help us out. I'm actually recording this on a different day than I said I would as well. So let's jump on our ship here and let's go back over to spawn and go back to the random fruit roller. I've also been told that the human race isn't very good. So I think we're going to re-roll our race today. We've got so much to do. But before we get to that, make sure you guys like the video, all of that stuff. I'm just going to be really, really cheesy right now. Subscribe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 20,000 20, subscribers. Let's go for that, guys. Woo. Anyway, let's go roll a new fruit. All right. So here we are back at the main world, guys. And I forget where I go. I think it's this person over here that we need to go to. What on earth is this cat doing up here? Well, it seems like this cat's got a pretty cool looking fruit. Look at that. They've also got the bomb fruit along with the same as me. But our bomb fruit doesn't actually stick out like their bomb fruit does, unfortunately. Anyway, let's go roll a new fruit. That's what you guys have been waiting for. I've heard the dragon and the rubber fruit are pretty good. So it's going to cost us 81,000 berries for this. So let's go ahead and do it. So random fruit. Here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, wait, what do we do? Uh, do I eat it? Do I store it? Wait, what happens if I store it? Let's go in our bag. Does it still say random? Oh, no. Okay, we've got the epic flame fruit, which I don't know is very good. Let's just buy another one just in case. We may as well keep buying these random fruits. We need to wait an hour. Okay, that's not a bother. Let me go quickly look at a tier list really quick. And I'm also going to look at the races to see if we need a new race. Okay, well, I was just having a look around and I found the Trello for this game. If you guys don't know what a Trello is, it's basically like all the information for a game on Roblox. I found a fruit tier list. So if we look at this fruit tier list, I'm sorry that it's really small. Can we zoom in at all? Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. So our bomb fruit, you're poor. We got the flame fruit. I mean, we all started off somewhere. We got two of the worst fruits in the game. Oh, that's a shame. But as you can see at the top, there is this dragon, which is amazing. Uh, the rubber's here. You're amazing if you don't have amazing. So yeah, there's some really cool things over there. Let's zoom out again. And there is also, if we scroll along here, there is races. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It was here. So there's also this races thing um, that show you all the buffs that the races do. How cool is that? So we are currently human, which gives you plus 15 stats gained, which is kind of nice, plus 5% damage to dark leg fighting style. Now, I don't think we have that. Let's have a look at all the other. So there's fisherman slash fisher people, which give you more swim speed, reduced damage from the ocean, rubbish, 25% damage fisherman fighting style. Uh, that sounds a bit rubbish. Sky people, 10 plus 5 sky jumps, flight speed. Sounds a bit rubbish. And then there is Mink and Beast people, which give you 10% dodge chance in PvE, 2% dodge chance in PvP, 20% movement speed, improved dash and flash, flash step. Flash step. Da flash step. <laughs> All right, so we're back in the game now. So let's come back over to the bag. And I guess we'll equip our flame fruit here. Um, I wish I could unequip this somehow. I wish there's a way to unequip the other fruit, but let's go ahead and eat our new fruit here. Let's go ahead. There we go. Oh, okay. So it gets rid of that fruit, but that's not a problem. Let's try out this fireflies really quick and our fruit level stays the same. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I kind of like that. Anyway, as you guys can see, I am a level 121. Last episode, we ended up in this level 75 area. This episode, we are taking on a brand new area, which is this level 120 area. So if we come over to our menu, let me just show you a few items that we got over in everything. We got the clown cape, which was nice. 
We got the clown hat, which was nice. And we got the clown cloths, which were also nice. We also got the clown dagger, which is really cool. So we're getting a bunch of drops, which is really nice. But I think our buddy is here waiting for us to go to the next island. So good sink of myself. Let's go to the next island. All right, and here we are at the new world here, guys. So first thing we need to do is come over and set our spawn. Yes, this is the spawn setter. And let's get on with the quest. So the first quest is over here, level 120. And it wants us to defeat six Marines. Now, are Marines these first people? Yes, they are. Okay, not too bad. Let's try out our ability on these guys as well. And we absolutely chunk them. That is so, so nice. And this Marine isn't actually hitting me back. Is this going to be a really, really easy island? I think so. But me and my buddy here, we are going to run around and just fight a bunch. So let's go ahead and crack on with this. I don't think these Marines actually fight back, guys. I'm not even going to lie. This might be a super, super easy quest. But over in this area, there is this level 120. And I think it's level 150 or 140 for the next. I can only say... Oh, no, there's another quest up there. Okay, really nice. Let's complete one of these quests and see how much XP we get from this. And there we go. Right, we completed it and got 65,000 XP. And we went up three levels just like that. That is absolutely crazy. Let me quickly see how much it is for the next quest. It is... 135 for the next quest, not 150. Oh yeah, that's pretty easy. And I still don't think these marines are actually fighting back. It's either that or I've just got loads and loads of health from when I AFK'd after. Anyway, let's get to level 135 real quick. And after one more here, there we go. So we are level 136. Our progression was really fast there. We've got our buddies helping us once again but here we go level 135 quest and same thing again it wants us to defeat eight official marines so it shouldn't be too bad once again these guys are 125 which is pretty cool and our fruit mastery is slowly but surely getting to that level 50 that we need for our next move so let's continue and okay so we are level 150 now guys well 151 and we are now over on to the final boss so let's go ahead and batter this boss really quick I don't know why. Oh, we're finally taking some damage. But I think we had so much health over in this world from me AFK farming that we literally weren't taking damage, guys. But here we go. We can actually take out this boss. I don't know. Lorgan, I think they're called. But I think I've got to wait another half an hour to get another fruit. Because I'm not going to lie. This fruit's kind of trash. I'm not going to lie. But nothing dropped there, unfortunately. But we've just got to keep taking this guy out until, I think... Let's go quickly check on the map. I think it's level 200... Okay, so coming back over to the map, so we are currently on 120. It wants us to get a 170. Okay, so not quite 200. It wants us to get a 170. So let's farm this boss. Hopefully, we can get some drops. I don't think anything dropped that last time. No, but hopefully, we can get some good drops and improve ourselves as a whole. Okay, well, we've just been playing here, and our friend Goodzing has just dropped us a fruit. Now, I don't know what fruit it is. Let's store it and let's have a look really, really quick. See what fruit it is, guys. Huh? My guy's just dropped us the sting fruit. Let's get our tier list up really quick. All right, so on our tier list now, guys, I think this is the string fruit here. I mean, it works, I guess. And this is so much better than our fire one. Okay, this is super, super sick. Let's give this guy a massive thank you. Uh, hold on, let's make sure he actually wants us to have it. Okay, well, I've given him a big thank you and confirmed it is for me. So let's go ahead and equip it. We've got a legendary now, guys. And let's go ahead and eat it. And there we go. Right, we've got a string rain fruit now. This is so, so sick. I mean, perks of being a YouTuber, I guess. But let's turn on the auto click back on and try this fruit. Oh my goodness, it does a lot of damage. Wait, let's try this again. Let's try this. Wow. Okay, well, this is really, really good. And we can use this ability over and over again really quickly and absolutely melt this boss. Well, thank you to Goodzink once again. My guy is helping me throughout this full series. Anyway, let's get that level 170. And all right, guys, well, we are back and we got a couple of drops there. I'm not going to lie. We managed to get, we just got this iron jaw as well, which gives us sword damage. We got the cloths, which gives us sword damage. And we got the axe hand, which is a sword. We're not using swords, so I think it is time to move on. I'm pretty sure it was only level 170. So let's go ahead and move over into the next island. 
making really, really good progress today, guys. I'm really, really happy with this. So, yeah, it is level 170. We now need to go to level 215. Our friend saying none of the codes work. True. We know that for sure. Anyway, let's jump on the boat and good sink to the next island. And here we are, guys, at our next island. So, let's go ahead and set our spawn if we're not going to die to the ocean, that is. Let's go ahead and set our spawn and crack on with these quests. Just like the last island, we are going to start off with the level 170 quests and move on and on throughout the quests. So, firstly, it wants us to defeat a bunch of cat pirates, which are level 185. So, they're actually better than us, but we can take them out pretty easily. And they're doing a bit of damage, but nothing to harm us. So, seven of these and we'll take it out a couple of times. And I think the next one is 185 we need to get to. And we are back once again over onto the level 185 quest. I'm not going to lie, these are doing a bit of damage. So we are going to headstand for a little bit, build up a bit more health because they're doing a lot of damage. And if I was solo in this, this would take even longer. So I'm glad I've got a buddy and let's get to level. I wonder what our next level is. I think it's level 200 after this one. Yeah, okay, level 200. I will see you guys then. Okay, and there we go. So we are now level 200, and I think this is the third quest over here. So we are on to the boss. Oh, also, let's get this uncommon chest for a lot of berries. Really, really nice. So what we're going to do, guys, we are going to do this quest, and then I don't know if it's been an hour yet, but then we're going to go see if we can get another fruit, see if we can get the dragon fruit. That'd be kind of nice, but let's take out this boss a bunch of times. I forget what level we need to be, so let me quickly check. So it is level 215 for our next island. So let's go move on. And there we go, guys. So, oh, we actually got some glasses dropped there. So if we come over to our bag, we managed to get the Buros cloths, which give us 10% speed, and the glasses, which give us 5% speed, which is kind of nice. We're just going to be super, super speedy by the looks of it. Also, I'm going to unequip the sword because we don't really need that. This is nice. We're looking really, really good. I'm not too sure what fight damage does. You know, we've got a bunch of stuff we can equip. But I'm just, you know, racking up everything, keeping it all in the bag for now. But let's go over to the next world, which is level 215. I think this is our sixth world now. Let's have a look. So we have done one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. I think it's seventh world now. Okay, we're going to make it over to the final world in today's video. So let's crack on with this next world. Is our boat waiting for us? How on earth am I going to get on here? Okay, there we go. Well, our ride is waiting for us. So let's go over to, I think it's seventh world. And my karyachi reminded me, without saying a word, just drop me off at the new fruit. So let's go ahead and pick up a new random fruit here, guys. 146k berries and let's see what we can get. So let's go ahead and store it because we don't want to get rid of this fruit yet. And we got the flame fruit again. Ew, we got the flame fruit again. I don't want the flame fruit. Anyway, uh, our carry said three minutes for his. So we will wait around and see what our carry gets. And see you guys at the new world. Okay, so let's come into the doors. All the quests are down here. So we'll pick up the 215 one. And is there some stairs in here? Um, I don't actually know how we get upstairs here and set our spawn. How do we get up? Let's have a look. Okay, well, there's a dark leg person here. If you want to learn how to use your legs as lethal weapons, I can teach you the way of the darkness leg. 700k berries. Go on then. We, we may as well learn that. So we have got something darkness leg. Um, don't ask me too much about that. I don't actually know what it does. Someone let me know down in the comments because I've just spent a bunch of berries on that. But there we go. Let's go ahead and finally set our spawn. And we need to take out five Don Pirates. Which are... Are they these guys? No. Are they these guys? Yes. Okay. Well, the Don Pirates are out here. So not too bad. And let's just work through this last world of today's video. All right. And we are just chilling now, guys. And we met this really, really overpowered guy called Death in our game. And he is taking us towards the hacky now, where apparently this is going to give us more damage. But look how quick this guy is. Apparently, this is going to give us more damage towards our darkness leg fighting style, which is apparently quite good. We just need to level it up a bunch. So let's follow him. And oh my goodness. All right. So here is the hacky. It costs 100k berries. Uh, what are you doing here? I was training my hacky. Do you want to know what the hacky is? Yes, please. And we have now learned the hacky. Press T to activate. 
And, oh my goodness. Okay, I think it's activated. Oh, that's cool. And our armament gets leveled up as we go through as well. I think that's pretty cool. All right, and now our really good player that we found is taking us to something that allows us to do more jumps, which is even more cool. So here we go. Apparently, we need 25k berries, which we do. And we have now learned sky jump, which means we can jump a lot. That's all we have to know. We can jump a lot. Okay, really good. We're going to continue to level up. All right, guys. And we did actually complete that world there, but... It's like an hour later, and we can now come over and roll another fruit. So, in 1 minute 30, we're going to roll another fruit. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and accept our new fruit. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, 186k. There we go. Right, we have bought a fruit. Let's go ahead and store it, and let's see what we got. So, someone's just dropped a bomb fruit there. We're going to go ahead and pick that up. And, all right here, guys. Well, we are at the second to last island over in this area. 275 is the level. To get to the next one is level 400 plus. So, what we're going to do, we are going to go ahead and set our spawn. And this place looks like it's a tricky one because there's a level 275 quest. There's another one, another one. There is five sets of quests over here, guys. The next morning. All right, guys. Well, we've been AFK overnight and we just got dropped the dragon fruit our carry death over here just got a spare dragon fruit from his rolls and it's given it to me what so a massive massive shout out to death guys we are literally getting the best fruit in the game so let's go ahead and eat that and guys we have now got the dragon fruit so this is just absolutely crazy we need to figure out how to turn into a massive dragon but yeah that is absolutely mental all right, well, we need to get to mastery 600 on the fruit, but he's just showcasing the dragon right now. Guys, we're going to be able to do that. Hopefully in our next episode, we're going to be able to do that. Wow, that is absolutely crazy. But what an absolute end to the episode. Let's go ahead and try out our new fruit here. So let's go ahead and press our dragon roar. Oh my goodness, that does so, so much damage. Let's go ahead and use it once again. Wow, that is so, so strong. Oh my goodness, this is going to be absolutely fantastic. But anyway, guys, what an end to the episode. I'm not even going to lie. We got the best fruit in the game. We got the dragon fruit. Shout out to death once again. But anyway, guys, if you guys have enjoyed and want to see more episodes of this noob to pro, I think it's going to be pro to pro now. Let me know by leaving a like. Let me know by leaving a comment. Anyway, have a great and wonderful rest of your day, everybody. I've got a massive smile on my face now. Peace out. Today, we are doing episode 3 of our One Fruit series, Noob to Pro. And last episode went absolutely crazy. We got the dragon fruit. It was going crazy. Today's episode might be even crazier. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, welcome back to One Fruit Simulator today. Where between last episode and this episode, we have went a bit crazy and hit level 1000. Whoops. And we also managed to get our fruit leveled up. And we rolled for a fruit and got the vampire fruit. Which is like the second best in the game. It might be the best. It's pretty new. It's crazy. We also completed the summer event, which was pretty easy. We had a little bit of help over here. So we got a bunch of this scuba diving gear and the legendary water pistols, which are really good. And these just improve your stat gain. So they're pretty nice to have on. And these water pistols apparently are pretty good. I just need to get my water gun level up because it's only like level 200 at the minute. Doesn't do that much damage. Also, I told you guys from last episode to this episode, I'd get my dragon fruit leveled up. So now we can transform into a dragon, which is absolutely nuts. So I managed to get level 1000 just while I was playing. I'm literally recording this a couple of hours after finishing the last episode. But we are now ready to go over to the second sea. So I need to actually change island here and go over to the NPC, which lets me go over to the second sea. Apparently level 600, probably about nice to go over to the second sea. So I'm going to catch you guys over on that NPC really quick. All right, and we are back over here now. And all that we need to do is press E to teleport to the second sea. It seems you're too strong for these seas. How about going to a harder sea and conquer new challenges? Let's do it. Let's do it. Teleported started. Please wait. And does it just take us into a completely different game? 
Oh, okay. Well, it does. So we are now going over to the second sea. And I'm quite looking forward to this. You know, it allows me to progress that little bit further. And everyone in the lobby is over level 1,000 except for one person. Anyway, so over at the second sea now, we just start off over here. There's pirates and marines. So what does everyone go on again? Pirates, I'm pretty sure. Let's just go ahead and join pirates really quick. And basically, guys, we are starting a new game now, which is kind of cool. And yes, we are already here. So let's go ahead and get a random fruit just to start it all off with. And hopefully we can get a rare one again. Let's go ahead and store it. Let's have a look. What did we get? Um, vampire. No, 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 no. And I can't actually see what fruit we got. Okay, well, we got the bomb fruit, which is rubbish. But it doesn't matter. Oh, and we've just picked up another one and another one. I think people are just dropping their fruits. Okay, well, we just picked up a fruit. We can drop that bomb fruit. There's also just a random fruit on the ground here. Oh, this is really cool. There's fruits left, right, and center. Okay, let's take a look at some of the fruits we just got. We got a sand fruit that we just picked up, and we got a barrier fruit that we just picked up, and some refined metal from somewhere. What a way to start the new world. It's already, like, fully all out there, full force going. But we are over on the first island over here. So let's just go ahead and set our spawn really, really quickly before things get too difficult. And let's go find our first quest. So we are a level 1029 and it only costs 560 for the first one. So I think we don't really need to stick around on this island. Fisherman style over here. So you want to learn to fight like the fisherman. I can teach you for a small sum of 1.25 mil. Um... Go on then, we may as well learn that style. It is a new fighting style, so it's not too bad. Um, we've got water impact, but you know what? We're probably not going to use that because we've got water pistols. But anyway, so we can just cruise through these quests pretty easy. Let's just quickly transform back into our dragon and see how difficult it actually is to take out some of these NPCs. Bear in mind, we are level 1000 and we are almost double the level of these. They've got like a million health though, I'm not going to lie. That is, that is a bit more difficult. Right, let's go ahead and pick up. Maybe we pick up the final quest over here and just farm the boss. Let's go find that really quick. Okay, so the first boss quest I'm guessing is this level 641. And let's have a look. So we need to take out uh, Minister 55 over here. So let's go ahead and find where this boss actually is. I'm guessing this guy might be just taking it out over and over again. So let's see if it spawns in this little section here. Okay, well, I think it's spawned now, so let's go ahead. Oh, there's another bomb fruit on the floor. Okay, I feel like nobody wants their bomb fruits. Is this what we are looking for? It is. It's really hard to see when you're on this dragon, but let's go ahead and try take it out. How much health does it have? It has 5 million health, so like, it's easy for us to take out. It's just... It's got a lot of health and takes absolutely ages, so let's quickly take one of these out and see what we can get for this. Okay, guys, well, we're slowly, slowly, but surely getting there on this boss. I'm not going to lie. I've been here for almost five minutes now taking this boss out. But there we go. This should take it out. And there we go. Right. Well, we... I don't think we got that much XP. I'm not too sure. Um, But if we come over here and if we pull out our compass that we've got, as you can see, our recommended island is over there, level 950 to 1350. But these islands are really tough. They take absolutely forever. So we have unlocked one, two, three islands by the looks of it. So we're going to go straight over to the desert island and check out how difficult that is. Just bear in mind the boss over here had five million health. And here we are at our recommended island, guys. So let's just go ahead and set our spawn here. I've got a feeling these are going to be really, really tough. The first quest is level 950. These enemies have 7.2 million health. That is absolutely mental. Let's go ahead and see what quest we should be on. So we're at level 1030 currently. There is a level 1060 quest over here. And we'll quickly check what this one was over here. This quest is level 1000. So I'm guessing we're going to be onto the level 1000 quest, which gives us 1.41 million for defeating Minister 44 and we're dead. Okay, well, I figured out it's probably easier for us to do the first quest, level 951, because we can farm our NPCs a little bit easier and a little bit better. So we are just going to come over here. We need to take out nine kingdom guards. 
But luckily for us, this dragon fruit is ridiculous. So if we just go ahead and use our Z ability, as you can see, we can hit these all three of these guys at the same time. So we can just spam this. We can just, you know, leave the auto clicker on spamming these abilities. But if we look at our ultimate and we stand in the middle of all of these guys, look how many of these enemies it hits. It hits all five of these enemies, which is crazy. I don't think our Z ability unfortunately has that kind of reach. But if we just stand here, we'll be pretty good. So let's just keep spamming over our abilities as many times as we can. We need to get a bunch of farming because these have so so much health so i'm probably gonna afk overnight here guys and i will catch you guys in the morning and let's see what level we are in the morning the next morning and is the next morning there guys we have been afking all night and if you look in the bottom left corner guys we are level 3397 We've went up like 2,000 levels there, which is absolutely crazy. And I'm pretty sure max rank is like, I don't know, like 12,000 or something. Tell me if I'm wrong down in the comments. But if we look at our recommended area now, I think, here we go. So it is Water 77 Recommended Island. There's also an island that takes you to 5,000. And what was that island over there? I can't quite see it. There was, there was a stronger island. Level 6,500. Okay, so that might be max level, 6,500. But if we come over to the new area, let's go ahead and crack on with the quests over here. Because we are almost completed that as well. So let's quickly go ahead and fly over there. And here we are, guys. So let's go ahead and jump off our dragon there and set our spawn. And let's go find our next quest that we need to AFK grind for a bunch of time. Also, let's just quickly check. We didn't get anything dropped. I don't think we did. I'm still really, really happy with having that vampire fruit. Because people seem to really, really rave on about it and think it's really good. Uh, no, I don't think we got anything else dropped. Well, not that I know of. So let's quickly find our next quest. And all right, well, I think this is our next quest because it's 3,350, so pretty close to our level. So there we go. We need to defeat, um, how many is that? Eight Cypher 6s. And if we come over, there is a Cypher 6 here. And I think these guys are Cypher 6 as well. We need to find a spot where we can just sit in between a couple of them and use our ult. Looks like this is going to be our spot that we're going to AFK. So let's AFK this for a bit. I'll probably get to like level 4,000 as well. So let's go ahead and do that the next morning okay guys and we did another night of afk in and we are now level 5079 we also had contact from the developer or slash co-owner of this game and he decided to give us all the game passes in the game so we managed to get all the game passes in the game now guys which i'm really really happy and grateful for but We've also got spare game passes. We've got auto click, double stats, double XP, and auto quest. That I'm going to give away to one of you guys. So if you guys want to win a bunch of these auto click game passes, all these game passes here, only to one person. What you guys need to, you guys need to comment on the video, like the video, comment your username. Make sure your username's in the comment, otherwise that's pointless to me. And join the Discord. We're trying to get more and more members over there. So if you guys want to win a bunch of game passes, make sure you guys do all of that. I'll select someone maybe in like a week or so from this video. But anyway, now we are level 5,000 here. We have also got this fruit fire which is really, really nice. Some of you guys probably seen in my inventory. I've got two vampire fruits now, which is ridiculous having two vampire fruits. Like, apparently everyone's proper raving on about them and think they're really, really good. And I've got two of them. However, I don't want to get off dragon fruit yet until we're on the max level. As you guys can see as well, our fruit level is 8,893. We are making insane progress just by AFK and overnight. We just use our tiny task to use all our abilities. So if we come over here, as you can see, the fruit distance, it actually just shows you where it is. And you can actually see the fruits on the ground, but I don't actually know what this one is. Let's hold it. It's some star or something. So we can just store that in our bag and have a look. We've got the light fruit, which is kind of good. We've also got a bomb fruit. We've got a barrier fruit, light fruit, snow fruit, and two vampire fruits. Max storage is two as well, so we probably need to go ahead and sell it. We've also got this love fruit. It's all looking really, really good. But the next thing we're going to do, we're going to pull out our compass and have a look at our recommended island. Our recommended island, I think it's actually the last island in the game right now, guys, is 
this knight castle over here, which is level 5,000 to 6,500. So we are just about over there. We'll need to go do the first quest. So let's quickly fly on over there. All right, and here we are, guys, over at the final island. So before we go ahead and get taken out, let's just go ahead and set our spawn point and pick up our new level 5,000 quest, which is 10 zombies. And what is good about this area, guys, look how many zombies are in close proximity here. If we use one of our ultimates, we hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zombies at once. That is absolutely crazy. And let's just see how many our Z ability hits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 we hit with the Z ability. That is really good. This is probably why Dragon's the best for farming currently. It is really, really nice. However, apparently there is a new hacky over in the second seat. So I'm going to do a little bit of research and we're probably going to go crack on with that quest because I'm really, really curious and we need a better hacky anyway. Later. All right. And after a bit of research, guys, we eventually found out how to get, I think it's the Conqueror hacky it's called, but apparently this is really, really good. So let's go ahead and accept that part of the quest. And now it wants us to take out God Killer five times. Now, God Killer from the video I've watched is over at Sky Island. So let's quickly fly over there. And here we are over at the Sky Island. Now, the video I'm watching is telling me to take out this person. And so I don't think the person's actually called God Killer. I'm guessing this is just the name of the quest. So let's just see. Let's take him out once with our fruit here. They've only got uh, 123 29 million health so it shouldn't be too bad let's take one out and see if it makes progress on our quest and yes yes it does so let's take out five of these and return back over to the quest and back over to the quest giver uh where it, i don't know what it wants us to do here let's have a look talk again to continue the quest line let's go so let's skip all of that oh my goodness you can skip the conqueror for 1500 robux okay no thank you we're gonna keep doing it so it must be good Okay, bring me some pills. I need five of them. So basically, guys, to find these pills I've seen, we need to find these sea cows. No idea how to find them. So we're going to have to go on an adventure. And I will catch you guys once we find our first sea cows. I think they're a little bit like sea beasts. So let's quickly go and find them. One eternity later. And we are back with five pills. I'm not going to lie, guys. I traded for them. I just I had to. That was too long. But there we go. Let's talk again for our next step of the quest. la di da di da Defeat 100 marine destroyers or something 88. Let me quickly check out where these are. Okay, so it's just G88 soldiers that we need to take out 100 of them. So they should be scattered about like around and about here. Let me check out if these guys are G88 soldiers. Um... I mean, this is a marine. I don't know if this will count. Let's quickly try to take one of these out and see if it will count. But 100 of these shouldn't be too bad. Apparently, the pill step of the quest is, like, by far the worst. So, it shouldn't be too bad at all. And, yes, it did count. So, I will catch you guys once we've taken out 100 of these. And, all right, guys, we have got two more to take out here. So, it shouldn't take long at all because we were absolutely cruising through these mobs like there were nothing. Right, there we go. So the next part is we need to come flying back up here and talk to this guy once again for our last stage of the quest. So la di da di da let's just talk and let's talk again. So the last thing we need to do is we need to fly all the way up here. So let's wait for our dragonfly in two seconds. We need to fly all the way up here just above the GATA island and there should be a mob up here that we need to keep taking out until it drops a mirror. Now, it's got 500 million health, so it shouldn't be too bad, seeing as we can just sit here and not take any damage. But apparently, the drop rate of the mirror is a little bit annoying to get. So, hopefully, we can get it sooner rather than later and get lucky so we get the most overpowered thing in the game. We'll see. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you once I've got the mirror for the last stage of the quest. And at last, guys, we managed to get the mirror. That took quite a while to get, I'm not going to lie. As you can see, it's literally the next day, guys. Okay, so let's talk to the Conqueror again. Uh, pay me 50 mil. Have it. Have it. So we have now learned Conqueror Hacky. So if we come out here, um, how do I do this? Um, what, what have I just done? Is that is that my new ability? 
I don't know. I think it's I think it's active. Oh, guys, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Let me know down in the comments. How does this work, guys? Um, but yeah, that is pretty cool. So the last thing we're going to do today, guys, we are going to get max rank. We are currently at 5,446. I think max is 6,500. So it may take a day, but I will see you guys then. And all right, guys, well, we hit max rank yesterday, but I think I just forgot to record the outro to the video. So if we come over, we have now maxed out our fruit 13,000 fruit level, which is really, really nice. We are now max level 6,500. At the minute, I'm just trying to max out my defense. And if we come into our bag, we have got a bunch of fruits here. We've got two vampire fruits, snow fruits. We've got a bit of everything. We're just trying to get two of every fruit at the minute with my fruit notifier just for future videos. And then if we come over and look at our stats, we have not got that much strength. We're slowly getting the defense up. We need to get 13,000 defense. We've got 13,000 devil fruit, sword, gun, observation. You know what? They all, they all happen over time. But our Conqueror's Hacky is also 13,000. We did that also overnight. And the Armament and the Observation will slowly get there, slowly but surely. So pretty much we've got Strength, Defense, Sword, and Gun. I'll do Defense off camera, but that puts me on to round up this video. If you guys want to keep seeing some One Fruit videos, let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Do you guys want to see me master fruit? Do you guys want to see me master guns, swords? Let me know down in the comments. I really, really enjoy this game. I'm not going to lie, and I want to keep playing it. But anyway, guys, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you guys are entering that giveaway. Have a great and wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Peace out. Today, we are going to be hitting max level sword level, and we are going to be getting the best sword in the game, the Unleashed Kokuto? I think that's how I say it. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, welcome back to One Fruit Simulator today, where I have still been really, 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 really enjoying this game. So we are back on it today. And today we are going to be trying to hit max level with our sword. Now, we've got pretty good sword in the game. We've got the Robux sword, but you can get it better. We've got this Kokuto, but we can get the Unleashed Kokuto which is really difficult to get but the first thing we are going to do today guys is you're going to leave a like on the video but we're going to upgrade our accessories because when i've been upgrading my fruit to max i've been getting some good fruit damage accessories i want to get the best sword damage accessories to make life a little bit easier now if we take a look at our fruit as you can see we are max rank thirteen thousand. our sword on the other hand is well, 102 because we can level it up really, really fast at the moment. Because we've hardly used this. We have literally hardly used our sword. So the first thing we are going to do today, guys, is we are going to pick up the three best accessories for sword damage. The first one we get for defeating the Gorilla King. I think it's called the Gorilla Plate. Now, the Gorilla King doesn't spawn too often, if I remember. So let's go ahead and see if it's here. And it's not. And all right. Well, we quickly hopped servers and the Gorilla King is now here. So we need to put our dodges on. We need to put our extra damage hacky thing on. We managed to get V2 of that. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last episode. But here we go. Here is the Gorilla King where I don't think we're doing like any damage at all. 118,000. Um, I don't know if I'm being stupid here, guys. But is my sword just missing a lot? I don't know. Is my sword just missing a lot or am I being really, really stupid? Anyway, we're going to keep our sword on and just keep using these lateral slashes, hopefully, to get a bit more damage done. I don't know why this isn't doing any damage on normal hits. I must be going crazy. But basically, we need to take out this Gorilla King a bunch of times to get our first accessory. So let's just take it out once really, really quickly. Okay, well... I got excited for a second. I thought it dropped first time, but it was just refined metal. But I'm just going to catch you guys once I get this gorilla plate. And all right, guys, we are back and we managed to get the gorilla plate for an extra 10% sword damage. So let's go ahead and equip that. I was farming that overnight, so it took quite a while. And we are now level 8,000 on our sword. We have been absolutely flying through this. But the next item we need is over in C2. So I'm going to catch you guys over at that NPC. And the next item we are looking to drop is the golden crown from 
Mr. 27. I think that's how you say it. So let's just go ahead and use our sword. We can one shot it. Hopefully this one shouldn't take as long because I think it's a common. So let's quickly get this and get even stronger. And just like that, nice and quickly, we got it. So let's go back onto our accessories and find our golden crown. Here it is for an extra 8% sword damage. That takes us up to 18.25% already, which is really good. And I don't actually think you can see the crown because of the bacon hair. But there is one more item to get. If I pull it up here, it is called the Dragon Slayer Scarf, which is a legendary. So this might be quite difficult to get. We need to go over to the Night Castle really quickly. And all that we need to do now, guys, is take out this boss however many times it's going to take to get the legendary. And I'm not going to lie, it's got a lot of health. Look how much health it's got. 2.6 billion. This might take a while. This might take a little bit of AFK, and I'm not going to lie. But at least we can do a little bit of damage to it. I'm just kidding myself at this point. But we are on like 8,500 level so far, so it's not looking too bad. We're getting there slowly but surely, guys. I promise. Once we hit level 13,000, we'll be doing even more damage. So that'll be nice. But let's just keep taking this guy out. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. If not, I might catch you guys tomorrow, I guess. And we are back again, guys. And we eventually got the Dragon Slayer Scarf. So we have now got an extra, well, pretty much 36% sword damage. And I'm feeling really good because I've just had a really, really healthy meal for lunch. So I'm feeling really good. So the next part we need to do is we need to go kill Mihawk until it drops, I think it's Dark Metal. Oh, this is going to be absolutely horrible. We need to get Dark Metal, which is apparently is like a 0.1% drop, 0.2 because I've got like extra drop trance or something. I don't know what it is. I've, I've got all the game passes, so I've got extra drop trance. But let's go ahead and jump in our boat and we need to go over to Eagle Island, um, which is nowhere to be seen and we have found it here guys and oh oh no oh no oh no okay well this is where it gets tough because this guy has 14 billion health and is hitting me from all the way over there this is gonna be ridiculous oh my goodness and we need to kill it for a 0.2 percent drop chance oh guys i think i'm finished I, this is gonna be really really difficult and also, another thing we need to do just before we take out this bounty eyes is we need to change our race. Now, I've heard that the Oni is going to be the best for the sword and the fruit that we've currently got. So, let's go ahead and change our race really quick. So, we are now human. We didn't change. We are now human. We didn't change. Beast people. No, we don't want that. Human again. Oh, no. Come on. Please give me Oni. Please give me Oni. Human. Beast people. Fish people. Oh, no, guys. It's not looking good. We've got seven more spins here. Human. Oni. Woo. I thought I wasn't going to get it there. Okay. Well, we're now Oni, so we can do more sword damage and dragon fruit damage. I'm going to quickly get this guy low, and fingers crossed, guys, we can do any sort of damage to it. In fact, no, I think, yeah, you know what? I'll back myself. Look how much damage. This is going to be so easy, guys. I'm not even joking. I also have been told that I need to, like, jump between my um things um my what i my my like fruit and my sword and stuff so i let's go back to sword apparently i can like do better damage but i'm not very good on a keyboard and mouse guys i'm not gonna lie put me on controller anyone can get it on keyboard and mouse i'm terrible like I've, I've i've got all right aim but buttons wise i'm terrible but anyway let's get this guy low really really quickly and, all right, guys, well, we're getting it pretty close to being dead now. And, oh, my goodness, my guy keeps falling over every time I'm swinging. But I've heard that I have to take it out with my sword. So this is where it gets a little bit techy now, guys, because we are getting quite low on the old dodges. And I'm pretty sure this guy will absolutely destroy us and one-shot us. So let's just keep going here. Let's, oh, my God, 700 million health. Let's press our V. Let's press our C. X. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be close. Oh, my goodness. 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 Ah! Let's use multiple slashes from a distance. And there we go. And we didn't get it. So, basically, I need to repeat that a lot. Pray for me. I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Okay, well, before I see you guys in a couple of days, because I'm just waiting for that next one to respawn, I was doing a little bit of searching 
And I've discovered I can upgrade my sword. I can make it do like more damage, more attack speed and everything. All that we needed to do is come over to Water 77. And there is an NPC over here where apparently I can upgrade my sword. So let's go ahead and pick our Kokuto. Uh, we can't unleash. This is what we'll come back to when we get our Dark Metal. But Sea Stone, I have no idea what that is. We'll fully upgrade it though. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade damage. Oh, it takes red metal as well to upgrade damage. Does it take red metal on attack speed? It does eventually, but I don't even know what Sea Stone does, but I mean, we'll take it. Let me quickly look how much redstone I actually have, because I don't want to go ahead and waste it all. We've got 30. Okay, okay. Let's be sensible here, guys, and let's upgrade damage. And then it wants refined. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's get the attack speed up. Still don't know what sea stone does, but I guess we'll upgrade it. Let's have a look how much refined metal we have. How much, how much, how much? Oh, we've got 41 of that. Okay, well, we've got plenty. So let's go ahead and upgrade the damage. Let's go ahead and upgrade the attack speed. Oh, this is going to be so much better. And I guess the sea stone. And now it wants sea metal. So let's go ahead and have a look at our sea metal. We have got... Oh, we've only got the six sea metals. So let's upgrade damage once. Let's upgrade attack speed once. Uh, I don't know what sea stone does. Let's just go ahead and do damage again. Okay, we're there max. Oh, we're so close to max attack speed as well. But that's not a bother. Right, so we have now got max damage and almost max attack speed, which is pretty nice. Uh, that hopefully will help us with our push. Fingers crossed. One eternity later. All right, guys. Well, we got disconnected last night, but I woke up and we got the dark metal. That is absolutely insane. But if we come over and look at our sword level, we are only sword level 9,438. So we must have gotten pretty, pretty lucky. But the last thing we need to do is go ahead and completely master the sword. So what we are going to do, we are coming back over to Water 77. If I remember, this is where we go and unleash the sword. I hope it is. I also hope that all the upgrades I did before I went AFK farming, we don't lose them. Otherwise, I'm going to be a little bit gutted. And let's go ahead and find our upgrade station really quick. And all right, well, we are back at the sword upgrader now. And I think we can actually upgrade our attack speed really quick to max, which is also really nice. But here we go. Here is the unleashed to get our unleashed coke toe. Let's go ahead and do it. There we go. So it's max. The only thing that isn't max is sea stone. Let me know what sea stone does down in the comments because I have no idea. But we have now unleashed the best sword in the game. And we've got the unleashed coke toe. So let's just go ahead and equip that really quick. And oh my goodness, this looks so, so good. Look at that. Right, let's, well, we need to get mastery for it. So let's go ahead and take out a few of these guys really, really quick. We need to get this mastery up. Hopefully it shouldn't take too much longer. Let's use this and just absolutely blast through one of these really, really quickly. All right, well, after taking one out, guys, we have unlocked everything. So let's check out everything we've got. So we've got the great slash over here. We've got a thousand slash, which... Does so much damage. Oh my goodness, that does amazing. We've got triple slash over here, which does like 30 million. We, we do have the hacky on. Uh, that flying slash just like one shot. And the green extermination. Let's go ahead and use that. One shot. Oh my goodness, this is insane. Now, I know I said I would get to level 13,000, but this would take like another day or two to record for that. So instead, I'm just going to get the video out. But we have went ahead and mastered the best sword in the game now. I'm going to get sword level 13,000. But what I want you guys to do for me right now, comment, what do I master next? Do I do guns? Do I do a certain fruit? Do I do a headstand for a week straight and max out my health? Let me know down in the comments. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed, drop a like, all that good stuff. Have a great and wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Peace out. Today, One Fruit Simulator has updated, and they've put me in the game. Okay, guys, it's a big day today because we are on One Fruit Simulator. And this is the first ever Roblox game that I've been in. I'm really, really excited today. As you can see on your screen, the update log is here. There are three new fruits. The Mythical Operation Fruit, Legendary Sound Fruit, and Uncommon Slip Fruit. I might try get one of those today. Hopefully, the Operation Fruit. There is the new Bubble Island. Max stats are increased to 16,000 from 13,000. Uh, max level is now increased to 8,000. 
with four new swords, uh, legendary operation sword. I, I still hope my sword's the best in the game. Someone let me know down in the comments. Two new guns, there's an epic rifle and a legendary golden pistol. I hope my water guns are still pretty good. Six new accessories and armament V3. Mini improvements and bug fixes. That's so, so cool. Okay, anyway, let's pull out the compass. And I just want to go flying straight over to the new area, which is... Over there, Bubble Island. So, let's jump on our coffin boat and let's go check out the new island really quick. But before we do that, guys, let's just come ahead and roll a random fruit. Because if we got the new fruit on our first roll, everyone would be really, really mad. I've never seen that fruit before, but it looks kind of cool. Right, let's go on and have a look in our inventory at what fruit we just got there. So, coming over to our fruits, we got Gravity Fruit. I don't think I've ever seen that before ever. Is that the new fruit? Is that one of, one of the new fruits? Um, I don't think it is, but I just haven't seen it before. Okay, well, that's really cool. And are any of the new fruits in stock? Operation Fruit isn't. Um, Sound Fruit isn't. And is the common one... No, the Slip Fruit isn't either. Anyway, let's just carry on going back to that island. And here we are. We have arrived. And I can already see me. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I can set my spawn, but there I am, guys. I'm in the game hitting you with an uppercut. Oh, that's really, really cool. <laughs> that's so, so sick. Wait, does that actually say? Is this default players as well? I'm really happy. I'm really happy. I'm in a game. I'm in a game. But anyway, we are at the new Bubble Island, guys. And over here is actually where I'm pretty sure is where we start our Armament V3 task and we'll call it a task and here they are all right so let's jump off our dragon really really quickly and let's come to talk to this guy evolved armament which is going to give us armament v3 now he wants us to go find a scarlet pill to start off with and yeah apparently this is quite difficult to get but there are some npcs that we need to go and farm so let me just quickly show you guys one of them all right, well, we're at, I think it's called like Denny's Island or something. Let's have a quick look. We are over at, yeah, Denny's, Denny's Lobby. And if you just climb all the way up here, as you can see where me and this guy are stood is where I think it's like a sniper guy will spawn. I'm watching a YouTube video that's showing me how to do all of this. So shout out to, let me get the YouTube channel, Binot Gaming. He has made a tutorial on this already. So his is probably a lot better than mine. But basically, we're going to sit here and AFK farm as many times round until it takes for us to get this Scarlet Pearl. And I swear down, if this guy tries to kill us, I am going to lose my... All right, guys. Well, I'm really, really happy because we got the Scarlet Pearl after taking out five of these on our fifth one. So I'm very, very happy. So it's now time to head back over to Bubble Island. But first, let's go check out what this fruit is because we did check out a few fruits and we managed to get the Magma Fruit just before. So let's see what fruit we just got here. Um, I don't recognize that one. That looks like a new one. I'm not going to lie. Let's have a look. So before, oh, I don't know if this is new or if it's just got a new photo, but we got the poor fruit. Pretty nice. But let me just show you guys before, if we go over to our fruits, we managed to get this magma fruit as well. I think that's pretty good. Let me know down in the comments. But anyway, let's jump back onto our ship and let's go flying back over to the bubble island really quick. 12 seconds later. And here we are, right, back over at the Bubble Island. Let's just go ahead and talk to myself again. Still can't get over that. There we go. Let's talk to Default Blaze over there. And let's come flying back over to the... I forget what the person's name is. But just coming over here, I feel like they've, like, nerfed movement or something. I feel really, really slow and clunky. I don't know if they've changed something in that. Let me know down in the comments if they have. But here we go. Right, so Evolved Arminant... Armin 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 there we go. Right, we've talked. Uh, yes, you know, apparently we just need to talk to this guy a bunch of times now. Um, 500 million for the improved armament. And there we go. We evolved our armament hacky. Um, I forget which one my armament actually is. So, is this my armament? I think it is. And what's happened to our face? We have now disappeared. <laughs> that is interesting. I, I forget which one my armament is. All right, so let's try out our new evolved armament here. And let's see how much damage we can do to these guys. We're doing 13 million a hit now. Let's use our dragon ability. 17 million. Oh my goodness, guys. We do so much damage with this now. I swear it was like around about 7 million before. 
And now the increase is absolutely crazy. I'm not even going to lie. And in our dragon form, I guarantee it's even more. And we're doing 20 million a hit now. Damn. Okay, but well that's really, really good. But now it is time for us to carry on as well. That also looks a little bit like my old character. That looks like my old character. Anyway, right. So we are level 6,500. So we need to crack on with these quests and max out our level next. So... The max level now is level 8,000. We are currently 6,563. And I'm guessing this is the first quest over here, level 6,500. So let's just go ahead and smash out a bunch of these bubble pirates. Where will be a nice spot to sit? I'm going to guess here we'll be able to hit a lot of them. Okay, well, we're just going to sit between these three where we can hit a bunch at the same time. And we are going to smash out a bunch of levels. And I will see you guys at max level. And all right, guys, well, my camera is currently in heaven, but Xavier just DM me on Discord and said, do you want Operation Fruit? This is the new best fruit in the game. So I think today, guys, is going to be our day that we're going to change fruit. Shout out to Xavier. And let me go back to the second seat and sort out my camera really quick. All right, so we are back in the private server now, guys. And I'm not going to lie. I just had a glance at my inventory. Our inventory is getting stacked now. Let's have a look at our fruits. We've got two vampire fruits, a dragon fruit, and now the fruit we are going to change to today, the operation fruit. So before we do that, let's just do a quick little damage test. Our normal hit with a dragon will compare does. Well, that's without any of our stuff on. Let's put all our armament and stuff on. Okay, it does 2.22 million. Guys, it's time to change our fruit. Here we go. The dragon fruit, it's been good. But let's scram that. And now we have got the operation fruit. Which, okay, right. So we have got an ability called injection wave. You need to be inside your room to use your skills. What does it mean I need to be inside my room? I don't understand that. Okay, well, I just jumped into a VC and... Uh, Felix told me how to use this. So apparently we press F to be inside a room, which is this big floaty dome thing. And then in here is where we can use our skills. And yeah, we need to take out like one of these guys just to get our mastery up. So it shouldn't take too long. In fact, we're going to do a bit of damage with our sword first. Let's do a few of these abilities there and there. All right, so we used our hacky, and let's go ahead and just max out our mastery really quick. Let's give it a try. There we go. Well, just like that, 1,500 mastery. That is kind of crazy. I don't know what's happened to our character here, but one of our shots now does 14 million. I forgot what the other one was, but I swear that's better. So our injection wave is... Actually, no, we've got our hacky on, so that's probably why it does a little bit more damage, Rob. Mm. Anyway, so that's what an injection wave does. Our X-Thorn... That looks kind of cool. Our samples. I have no idea what that's just done. I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, Our tact. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, that's kind of crazy. And hold on. Let's put down a different room here. Let's put down our room. Oh, we can only use our room every five seconds. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. And right. One more. Oh, my goodness. Your room gets so much bigger with your... Okay, well, that's really cool. Anyway, one of our hits does... 2.33 million. I forget what the other one did. And let's just go ahead and use our gamma explosion there. Pretty nice. So we're just going to level up our fruit a bunch. This room is really, really nice and really, really big. And let's just get back to getting max. We're not too far off. We're level 7,300. Not too bad. And just like that, guys, we're level 8,000. It took probably about half an hour to an hour worth of grinding. So not too bad. But I'm not going to lie, now that I've learned how to use this fruit, it's really, really good and really, really fun. Also, whilst we were farming, we got the new weapon dropped, the new legendary weapon. We got the golden pistol dropped. So if we go ahead and equip that over our water pistols, we have got this new golden gun looking thing, which I'm going to assume is really, really good. I still need to master my guns out. I'm still only like level 700 odd on my gun. But the new fruit is really, really good. I would highly recommend you guys getting it. It is really, really good. Really, really fun. Thumbs up from Rob. And um, we didn't get any of the new accessories, unfortunately. But that's pretty much it. We just need to max out all our fruit damage, our health and everything now. 
and then we'll wait for the next update which is on the 19th of this month so like two weeks time but anyway let me know what you guys have thought of this update today do you guys see what i mean this is uk weather it is currently mid-afternoon and it's too really really dark because it's about to rain it's impossible my lighting anyway guys have a great and wonderful rest of your day everybody peace out as many of you guys know, I am super, super busy at the moment, moving in to my first ever house. It is chaos. So I haven't had a lot of time for Roblox, and I've been falling behind on a lot of games. So this weekend, we're going to catch up on three different games. I've got a lot of grinding to do. Enjoy, guys. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie. I've missed one Fruit Simulator a lot. Before I was taking my little break and got really, really busy, this game was on my mind constantly and really really addictive so we're back today guys one fruit simulator has an update part two let me get up the update log really quick well it's not really an update log it's just update ope update part two is here two times stats one for one week i may have missed that oh no we didn't okay cool 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 that's cool that's nice that's nice and um, there is new daily quest system new awaken system and new raid system, which apparently are quite difficult and I might need some friends or a developer. But this video may take a couple of days to record because there's a bunch of stuff. But also on this update log, there is a couple of new codes. So let's go ahead and enter our new codes really, really quickly. So the first code is Light Awaken, which gives you a lot a lot of stuff i i can't read all of that the next one is code raid so let's go ahead and enter that for a bunch of stuff the next code is daily quest for again a bunch of stuff i'll let you guys read that yourself and i think by the looks of it that might be all the new codes let's have a look um Okay, well, for now, we're just going to leave that as all the codes. So make sure you guys are entering all of those. But back on One Fruit Simulator today, I think, I think, think, think there is a new world. But let's start off the video and let's go ahead and get a random fruit because why not? We can. Let's have a look. What fruit did we get? And we got the bomb. Anyway, so I'm guessing this might be the daily quests person or just a special shop with a bunch of special stuff. There's pearls you can now buy with daily coins, random rolls, light key used to start raids, sea metal, mastery boost, metal, splat boost. This is really helpful for free to play players as well. Really, really nice. So in our last episode on this game, guys, we actually managed to get the OP fruit and completely max it out. We didn't manage to max out fruit level as a whole, but we managed to max it out pretty nicely. Now, the, oh, there's an update log here. I should have just went here anyway. I wonder what if there's like a new level max or if we're still at max level here. I think we're still at max level, which is kind of nice. There's a new mythical sword, which I do kind of want. The mythical true triple scythe. Um, new awakened fruit, awakened light fruit, which could go crazy. We need to get a light fruit. New raid boss on Bubble Island. New daily quest system. I don't actually know where this is. Special shop system, special exchange system. Four new accessories, many improvements and bug fixes. Okay, so I don't think there is a new island yet. Let's just go and have a look on our compass. The last one was the Bubble Island, which if you guys don't know, I feature on. And it doesn't look like there is a new island yet, but there is a big crown up here, and I'm really, really curious. So, there is Fruit Awaken over here. Fruit Awaken, Operation Fruit. This fruit don't have awakened. So, I think at the moment, the only fruit is Light Fruit that can be awakened. And if we look in our inventory, I'm not too sure if we have a, a Light Fruit. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. Well, it's our lucky day, guys, because we do have the light fruit, which is really, really nice. And as you can see on the left-hand side, we have got all, like, the best fruit damage stuff on, which is cool. So what we're going to do to start this video off today, guys, or the main purpose of this video, is we're going to be awakening this light fruit. Let's just double-check that that's the only one we can awaken. New awakened fruit. Awake. New awakened fruit. Awaken. Awakened light fruit. Okay, so I think we've got to awaken the light fruit. I'm going to go watch some YouTube videos and I'm going to get back to you guys. Okay, well, we're back again. I've just watched another video from Binot Gaming. He is my favorite one for YouTuber. Shout out to that guy. So what we need to do, guys, we need to come over to the shop and we need to get a bunch of these light keys. Now, we have no daily coins right now. 
But there's this exchange where you can exchange ice cream for daily coins and present for daily coins. Now, I think I have a bunch of ice creams left over. So let me get my auto clicker out really quick. And we are just going to activate the auto clicker on here and just get a bunch of daily coins. Now, I don't know how many spare ice creams that I have left over. So I'm just going to catch you guys once we've got all our daily coins. But make sure you guys do this exchange because you guys need a lot of keys apparently. And just like that, we have exchanged all of our ice cream over. So from here, guys, we need to come over to the light keys. And now I don't actually know how many I can buy. But apparently you need to use these raids to get essence. And you need 35 essence to get the new fruit. So we can buy one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't even know. Let's just buy as many as we can. And there we go. Right. So we've got a couple of light keys here. Let's go into our bag. We've got 13 light keys. Something tells me that's not going to be enough. I'm not going to lie here, guys. But that's not to worry. We've got those. So from here, we need to head back over to Bubble Island. Okay, so over at Bubble Island. So we did actually completely max out Bubble Island last update. I think it's at the back right is where you have to go and start these raids. Now, I will never be able to do these raids by myself. From the videos I've watched... The boss has like 46 billion health. So I'm going to have to get a little bit stronger or get a team to come and carry me. But from these raids, you interact with this guy. From these raids, you get essence and we need to get 35 essence. So I'm going to see if I can get a team to come and help me out. And I will catch you guys in our very first raid. All right, guys. Well, I've got a team in this server now. So we're going to go ahead and try this out. So we have went and opened our first boss. It says teleporting. So we'll just wait. Okay. And here we are. So let's go ahead and put our room down really, really quickly there. There we go. So we just need to wait for the boss to spawn now. We have got four people all quite strong in this lobby. Now, I tried one before and I got glitched on top of the roof. So fingers crossed this time, I'm not going to get glitched on top of the roof. And fingers crossed, we can do it another time. So I forget what my Conqueror Hacky button is. Oh no, I forget, I forget. Okay, we've activated it. There is so much going on right now. Let's just go ahead and smash all our buttons. Our observation is already gone as well. Oh my goodness, we got hit like mad there. Excuse my PvP skills, they are probably terrible. I haven't played this in absolute ages. And that's probably how I got teleported away before. I used the wrong button just before. I don't even know where the boss is right now. This is absolute chaos. But we seem to be doing so much damage. Well, my teammates seem to be doing a lot of damage. I'm kind of just here for the fun. But there we go. We have almost completed it. Let's go ahead and use our V ability. And there we go. Right. Well, we took it out and I don't think we got anything. Okay, well, that's unlucky. But basically, guys, that is the boss fight. We need to do this a bunch of times until we get 35 essence. This is going to take a long time. I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. Later. All right, guys. And after a good bit of grinding, we have managed to get our 35 light essence. So if we just come back over to the Bounty Island now, we need to talk to this Fruit Awaken. And Fruit don't have Awaken. So unfortunately, we've wasted a Dragon Fruit. So if we come over, I think, is it just the light fruit? I hope I don't get this wrong. If I get this wrong, everyone in the comments just shout at me. But let's go ahead and get our light fruit out really, really quickly. Let's go over to fruits. And where's our light fruit? Okay, here we go. Equip. Uh, can we just equip it and talk to them? No. Okay. This may be stupid. Guys, let me know if this is stupid. There we go. Right. Light fruit is eaten. Okay, I think we get this right. And if we come over, there we go. Right. So... We can go ahead and awaken one for the move, two, three, four, and is this just to get all the moves? Okay, 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 okay. Let's go ahead and equip all of these really quick. I think I'm getting this right. Okay, right. We need to get a little bit more mastery. So let's come over here and let's just take one of these guys out really quick. And did that max out our mastery? Not quite. We need to take one more out really, really quickly. I'm not going to lie. This looks really, really cool, this fruit. So let's come back over and let's just make sure everything is equipped here. Equip, equip, and equip. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, so let's try out some of these moves because we finally got it. So if we come over, we have got Awakened Light Kick, which... That looks cool. We have got the Light Mirror, which... Oh my goodness, looks... Wait, how did we even take anything out of that? Wait, let's try that again. So let's aim it down here. I don't actually know. 
That is really, really cool. We have got C, which uh, allows us to fly about. Okay, let's try that out really... Whoa! Okay, this is actually... I feel like that's faster than flying as a dragon. Oh my goodness, right? That is really, really nice. This is by far the best fruit I've used yet. We have got our V ability, which I can't say the name of. But it's like just summoning an earthquake. Wow, 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 wow. And then finally, we have got light slash. Let's try it on this guy. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I want to try out this V ability. Let's see. Is it like an area of effect move? Let's try go up to these guys here. And let's use our V ability. And it is okay. And it's got quite a good radius as well. Mwah. That is really, really nice. And probably the best fruit I've used yet, guys. Okay, nice, nice. Make sure you guys are grinding that and getting all of that stuff. Mwah. All right, guys. Well, the next thing we're going to do in today's video, we have come over to the Night Castle base because we're going to go ahead and get the brand new sword. So the first thing it wants us to do is come over to this level 6000 Shinzuma. And it wants us to get a sword core to start off with. So let's go ahead and quickly get our sword core. I also realized, guys, we had a level 1000 move that I didn't show off. So let's go ahead and show it off right now. Okay, well, that does a lot of damage. I'm not even going to lie. This fruit is by far the best in the game. So let's just keep taking this out until we go ahead and get our sword core. One eternity later. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, I've been sat here for a couple of hours now, and we haven't managed to get it. However, people in the Discord were saying that the sword isn't that good compared to the sword I've got. So I think I'm just going to sack it off. I'm not, I'm not going to bother getting it. If my sword's better, we may as well stick with this sword. But if you guys do want to know how to get this sword, I'll drop a link to a good video down in the description. Make sure you guys check that if you guys want this sword. But anyway, this is us back on One Fruit Simulator now. Let me know what you guys think of this game. How is it going? What level are you guys on this game? Are you max level? Have you awakened your fruit yet? What a really cool fruit though. But yeah, if you guys want to see me, go ahead and try get every single accessory as well for this update. Let me know by dropping a comment. Anyway, guys, I will catch you in tomorrow's video. We're back uploading as much as we can. Have a great and wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Peace out. Today, we are back on One Fruit Simulator because it's just had another really, really big update with C number three. Let's go check it out today. Okay, guys, welcome back to One Fruit Simulator today. We haven't been on this game in a little while. However, it is just updated not too long ago, and we are back on here today, mainly because there is a brand new C out. There is a bunch of new fruits. Let's go ahead and have a quick look at all the update logs. As you can see on your screen right now, New third sea, new, well, there's three new islands. The best one being the marine base. There is the max level, which is 12,500. Max stats are now 25,000. Two new mythical fruits, which are the venom and the phoenix fruit, which we are going to showcase for you guys today because we have managed to get both of them. There is the new raid boss where you can actually awaken the flame fruit, which is kind of crazy. If you guys want to see me do a video on that, let me know down in the comments. There are two new swords. There is the... Bilento. Oh my goodness, I can't speak. And the Pegasus. Two new fighting styles. There is the Demon Leg. And there is Galaxy Combat. Two new guns, Snake Bow and the uh, Prison Bazooka. New time rewards. 14 new accessories. And many improvements and bug fixes. Okay, that's really cool. Bunch of new stuff today. But I think the first thing we are going to check out, and the thing most of you guys have come here for, we are going to come over to the third sea, and we are going to showcase the new fruit. Now, I just watched a video, and the person that I was watching the video on said the venom fruit is the best one. So we're going to showcase the phoenix fruit first. Now, if I get that completely wrong, scream at me in the comments, and also scream at Oni to give me another one. But here we go. So... We are over here now, and there is a bunch of fruits on the ground because this is now where everyone is going to be throwing their fruits on the ground when they don't want them. What even is this fruit? It's glowing, but I don't want it. So if we come over and take a look in our bag now, guys, we have been given, where is it? We've been given the Phoenix fruit, and we have been given the Venom fruit. Now, this is going to suck if I can't get my light fruit back, but it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and showcase the Phoenix fruit first which has just disappeared okay well um the phoenix fruit literally just disappeared so we're gonna go ahead and try the venom fruit which has also literally just disappeared 
All right, guys. So we are back with some news. So apparently, the fruits we got gifted were actually perma fruits. So they don't actually get put into your bag. They get put into the stock market, apparently. So I need to go ahead and find the fruits. So here we go. I think this is where they are. So if we come all the way down to the bottom, I think. Yeah, there we go. So we can click equip on our Phoenix fruit and our Venom fruit. So we've got them both, which I'm very, very happy about. Let's go ahead first and showcase the Phoenix fruit to start off with. So here is the Phoenix fruit. We need to get the mastery leveled up a little bit here. And yeah, this might be a little bit long. Let's see if we can actually take one of these guys out over time but this might take a while but we'll max it out so let's quickly max out this fruit let's get the full mastery on it and let's see how good the fruit actually is i'm really really excited to use these new fruits because apparently the venom fruit is really really nice all right guys and we're about to take this out it does take quite a while once your fruit is not leveled up very good and you've only got one move to use but one more of these abilities and we should have this one taken out and we should have this fully maxed out there we go right so we have fully maxed out the phoenix fruit in one taken out of the enemy so one thing that is really really interesting about this fruit it actually inflicts burn damage so if we go ahead and use our z ability there as you can see the little yellow numbers that pop up afterwards little fire emoji that is the burn damage which is really cool so that is the phoenix bullet which is super super nice let's go ahead and check out the phoenix dash if we click that it kind of shoots away forwards nice let's try out the claw attack Oh, damn. Okay, that one's kind of nice. That one's kind of nice. Means we've got a range attack now. Healing zone heals yourself and damages the enemy. I like that. That is really nice. And then we've got hybrid form here, which... Oh, we're actually in... A, 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 um, we, we are a, a bird. <laughs> what? So now we're now with the bird form, we've actually got three abilities, three new abilities or four new abilities, actually. So we've got the triple Phoenix bullet, which just is the Phoenix bullet. But three times, let's shoot it up here and have a look. OK, that's nice. We've got ultra Phoenix dash, which is Phoenix dash on steroids. We've got Phoenix flight so we can actually. Wow. OK, it's quite a fast flight as well. That's nice. Super nice. And we have got ultra healing zone, which is just going to heal us for like double what we had and then we've got our ultimate ability which is phoenix tornado which is great area of effect okay i want to test out how much this area of effect actually is let's see if i can stand in the middle of these let's give it 10 more seconds and let's see if i can hit both of these enemies at once because if so that'll be really really nice for farming if it's got a good range on it five seconds and let's pop our hacky here really really quickly and let's go ahead and pop our B ability. Can we hit both? Oh, we can. Damn. Can we stand in the middle? Okay. No, that's a really good range. And look, the burn damages keep ticking and ticking over time. Okay. That's really, really nice. Anyway, let's check out the next fruit, which is the venom fruit. Let's come back over to our shop. I'm super, super happy we have got that fruit on a permanent basis now. I don't think we've got any other perma fruits. So it's very, very generous for Oni to gift me these. Anyway, let's go ahead and equip the venom fruit. Guys, we need to get this maxed out. Let's try out this venom bullet really quick. Oh, nice. You don't even have to stand in the zone. And it's got tick damage as well. Okay, right. Let's get this one maxed out once again. And I will see you guys for a bunch of new moves. Okay, and once again, guys, we are really, really close to taking out this snake pirate to max out our venom fruit. So I'm quite excited for this one. Seeing as people are saying it really, really good. Well, from the YouTube videos that I've watched, people are saying it's really, really good. Let me know down below what your favorite new fruit is out of the Phoenix and the venom but there we go right so once again there is a new form so we're gonna come over to our enemy over here so we've just tried the venom bullet which is a ranged attack we've got venom land which is crazy it's like a ground attack we've got venom flight oh okay it's nice they can all fly about very very nice we have got venom hydra over here what is this gonna be oh my goodness okay that looks sick all ranged attacks which is really really nice and now we've got venom form where Ew, we are just a, 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 a goop. And guys, this is what I like. Okay, look, we can attack enemies without getting hit. So let's go ahead and try out new moves. So we've got Venom Bullets here, which are even stronger. And the tick damage is crazy. We've got Venom Zone, which is just a bigger range attack. And again, ticks damage. 
We've got Hydra Flight, which is just the same. We've got Giant Venom Hydra. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that is awesome. These moves are really, really nice. And last but not least, we've got Venom Swamp, which I'm going to assume is a big ranged attack. Yeah, there we go. And look at that. It just takes up a bunch of ground. And again, the tick damage is still going. All right, that is really, really nice. We're going to keep this fruit on because I think it's my favorite out of the two. And the next thing we are going to do, guys, we need to be level 9,500 to get to the next island. So we're just going to farm up a bunch of levels and I will see you guys over on the next island. I don't think there's too, too much to do over here. So I'm just going to keep farming slowly but surely overnight. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow morning or tonight once we've done this. The next morning. And, all right, guys. Well, good morning. And we hit max level overnight. I'm not going to lie. That must have been pretty easy to hit level 12,500 because that didn't take long at all. And we are almost at fruit level 20,000. Let's have a quick look at a few of our other stats over here. Devil Fruit's almost at 25,000. Our Conqueror's Haki is at max 25,000. Armament is at 19,000. It's all looking really, really nice over here, guys. But we have unlocked all the islands now. So we're going to start off. We're going to come over to the first island, which is this one just over here. Because I know the other one's the marine base. And let me know what level you guys are. And let me know what your best fruit is just whilst we're flying over here, guys. As we're about to hit level 20,000, we're going to be one level off in a second. It's really, really cool. Now, there is a bunch of cool stuff over here. Like there's the galaxy fighting style, which we're going to check out. But we'll not be able to get it today because we need to take out... 2,500 enemies with a fighting style, which is absolutely ridiculous, and our fighting style is really, really bad. And I want to get this video out for you guys. So here is our first island. There is a bunch of enemies around here. I mean, it's looking all right. There's probably not much to check out. So I think everything's over at the marine base. The final boss over here has 29 billion health, so that's pretty easy. But let's just go over to the marine base, guys. This is what everyone wants to do and where everyone wants to come because this is where the raid is. This is where the good accessories and the bosses are and where you start the galaxy fighting style quest. So that's exactly the first thing we are going to do. We have surpassed 20,000 on our fruit level as well. So we'll be getting stronger and stronger. But let's come over and to start the galaxy quest, it is up in one of these towers. Is it this one? No, that is spawn point. I'm pretty sure. Let's just check out all the towers. It's not that one. There isn't anyone up there. Let's check it out. No one in this one. And here we go. All right. So to start the galaxy quest, guys, you just come up over into this tower, find the galaxy fighting style. When you're strong enough, I'll teach you my fighting style. Guys, that is where you need to do 2,500 kills. I think it's, uh, I, th I think they say Clown Island's the best to go to. I'm not too sure. But then let's quickly check out what fruit this is just while we're here. Grab the fruit. Uh, I can't actually see what have we got. Bomb fruit. Lovely. We'll drop that. <laughs> But anyway, let's come over because over on the left-hand side is where you will start the raid. Once I can find it. Is it up here? Yes. Okay. So here is the raid guy. And we are going to try it out today, guys. Um, I don't know how good we're going to be with this. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how strong we'll be. Seeing as our fruit level isn't maxed out and our health isn't maxed out. But oh well, it costs a blaze key flame to go into it. So we have got 50 of those. Thankfully, we got them gifted to us. So here we go. Let's go try it out once for ourselves. And we are in a big empty room. Okay, well, this is looking interesting. I hope I haven't been teleported to the wrong spot here. Let's go ahead and walk forward just a little bit. Um. Oh, okay, there he is. He is right on top of us now. Um, okay, right. I think we can actually do damage whilst we're sat here. Now, bear in mind, guys, I am not the best at PvP on this game. And he's already taken out our all of our dodges. What? Oh, my goodness. He's got 90 billion health, guys. All right. So, it looks like we need to stay out the way of all this stuff. Um, yeah, this guy's going to be really tough. Oh, my goodness. We need to get our dodges back again. There we go. Okay. I don't actually think we even had our dodges activated there. Right, let's keep doing our damage. Let's keep doing our DPS. Can we just stand here and trade with him? We can do a good bit of damage. However, I'll probably need some buddies to help me out with this one. Because this is actually how you uh, go ahead and awaken the flame fruit. 
Oh my goodness, he just took out all of our dodges so quickly again. Okay, and there is actually a time limit here as well, which is kind of cool. It is probably about three minutes they probably give us on the time limits, which isn't too bad. Maybe just a bit more. I'm just waffling. I'm really bad at fighting on this game, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm max level. Can't fight. Can't fight for anything. Heck, have we got our dodges back yet? No, we don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. But we've managed to do it a decent chunk. I'm not going to lie, guys. So if we had a team, we most probably would be able to do this. Okay, well, he has taken us out. He was so much stronger than I thought he would be. And we forgot to set our spawn point. But that doesn't matter, guys, because I am going to wrap the video up there today. If you guys want to see a video of me awakening the flame fruit and going further, let me know down in the comments. Let me know by leaving a like. Uh, today's video was pretty much just like an update one for one fruit. These videos do take a long, long time if I wanted to go ahead and do all the quests and everything. So if you guys want to see me do that, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed the fruit showcases. They are some pretty cool new fruits. Anyway, guys. Have a great and wonderful rest of your day. We are back to doing more anime champions and more updates tomorrow. Have a great wonderful day, everybody. Peace out. In today's video, we are going to be playing the brand new Halloween event update inside of One Fruit Simulator. Now, I know I'm late to the party. Sorry, guys. I've been too busy upgrading my setup. I literally haven't had a mic for like the past week or so. But in today's video, there is a brand new world, brand new fruit, and a bunch of quests that we need to crack on with. So without further ado, if you guys do enjoy this video, please drop a like. Feel free to subscribe as well. And let's get into this. Okay, guys, welcome back to One Fruit Simulator today. Now, it has been a little while since we've played this game, guys. I'm sorry. We are back today. I know a lot of you guys were asking for this game to come back. So, hi. Hi. We're back on it today. Also, the setup has completely changed. The microphone has changed. The camera placement's changed. So I hope everything is sounding and looking all right today, guys. This will be the first video back. So in today's video, guys, we are going to be checking out the brand new Halloween event. And I have managed to get my hands on the brand new, let me just show you it, guys, the brand new leopard fruit. Now, I have not seen any videos or not seen how good this leopard fruit is. So this will either be a W or an L that we're going to use this. So the first thing we are going to do today, guys, is we are going to equip the leopard fruit. And I think it because it is perma, it has went into our shop. Let me have a quick look. And here it is, the leopard fruit. We have been gifted the perma leopard fruit. So there we go. Let's go ahead and equip that. And let's go ahead and get this leveled up. There is 200 mass fruit we need to get through. And the first move is the finger pistol. Now, this is going to be super, super good because we will be able to transform into the leopard today. And it's going to be super, super awesome. So if you guys do enjoy one fruit simulator and want to see more, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Feel free to subscribe if you guys want to see more as well. I've got some super exciting videos coming up. And enough waffling, guys. The Halloween event island is just over here. So we're going to get ourselves over and go check it out. And here we are, guys. So first thing we need to do is go and find the spawn point so we can set it. So if we do end up dying, we will spawn back here. So there we go. There is our spawn point set. Now, there should be missions over here. I'm pretty sure there's a mission somewhere. But we are on the Halloween Island right now. And let's try out our finger pistol really, really quick. And that is awesome. But they are only level 500 over here. So it shouldn't be too much of a bother to work our way through. So let me quickly find the quest, which I think is just up here, actually. And no need for a cut because the Halloween quest is just over here. So let's go ahead and start our Halloween quest. Talk again to progress in the quest line. So he wants us to bring pumpkins. I'm pretty sure it said. Let's have a look. Uh, why don't you bring me some pumpkins? Bring 15 pumpkins. Um, I have no idea how we get pumpkins. I'm guessing we just need to take out these enemies. So let's start off with trying that. Oh, and okay there, guys. So we just got our very first three pumpkins as a rare drop. I was just starting to get a little bit confused on how we get the pumpkins. But we just took out, I think it was the boss up here. And we got three pumpkins from that guy. So I'm guessing the harder the enemy, the more pumpkins that'll drop. Or the easier it is to get pumpkins dropped. So the first thing we need to do is get these 15 pumpkins, which isn't too bad. But before we do that, guys, there has been a bunch of new updates since we last played. So there's now daily quests. I can't remember if I checked that out. 
There's time rewards along here, which we have reset. So we're just getting a bunch of berry boost. And the last thing, which I'm kind of glad I logged in today, guys. We've missed everything, but today where we get an exclusive sword. There we go. So we didn't really miss out. I mean, we might have missed out on some one thing, an accessory, but I'm not too bothered. So that's super, super good. So what we're going to do, guys, get these 15 pumpkins and I will catch back in with you guys. And just as we were farming there, guys, we just got a really, really cool accessory drop. So we're going to quickly check this out before we go any further. We've got the Fallen King armor, which is actually so sick. It gives us 2% XP gain, 2% stat gain. 20 defense and 10 damage. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm going to equip that because that is super good. I think that might be quite a rare drop. We've already gotten. Our luck has been really, really nice today. And we've also unlocked hybrid form for this fruit, um, which turns us into the big leopard, which makes us even cooler. And hopefully this is going to be the last guy we need to take out there, guys. And I'm pretty sure that is the 15 pumpkins acquired now. Let's have a quick look. And yes, that is the 15 pumpkins we have gotten now. So let's go back over to the quest person, which I think is just down here. I am right. And let's continue on with our quest. Talk again to progress. Thank you. I love pumpkins. Did you know that they carry the essence of the soul? Take this as a gift. Okay, so item in our inventory. We got a bunch of new accessories there as well, guys. And um, we got Flame Reaper Cops, which are actually, guys, a mythic accessory, which I don't think's ever happened before. So this is super cool. Gives us 3% damage and 4% stat gain. Now, is that better than our Fallen King armor? I don't know. I don't know. It might be 10% damage, 20%. Um, I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't think this is better than what we've got dropped. Let me know down in the comments if that is better. But that is that quest done. And as I was exploring around, guys, there is actually another quest just back here. Well, I think it's a quest anyway. Collect random reward. Do you want to buy a random product? It will only cost 20 pumpkins. I don't think I have any pumpkins. Did it hand in all 15 of my pumpkins? It did. So I need to get 20 pumpkins to check that out. So let me quickly do that. And we are back, guys. And we have got our 20 pumpkins now. So let's come over. And we got three daily coins. You got three daily coins as a reward from random product shop. Ah, well, that's a bit of an L. I'm not going to lie. That was a little bit waste of my time, but that's not to bother. Okay, well, that's enough of sidetracking now, guys. We have now got another part of the Halloween quest. Looks like you want to continue. Then I have more for you to do. Talk again to progress the main quest line. Why don't you try and find some souls? They like to stay in chests and it wants us to bring five souls over now. Okay, well, I've watched a video and just like the quest said, all that we need to do, guys, is search chests until we find these souls. Now, there's a few locations I've seen on this video, so I'm going to go around and hopefully we can get five souls pretty quick. Okay, and we are back in Start Island and apparently there are three secret locations for chest to spawn over here so the first one is right under spawn where it looks like somebody has already gotten to all the chests before us so that's not very good we now have to wait for them to respawn the second location is just over in the back of this cave here you just glitch through this wall oh and here is a chest it's uncommon chest uh, but we didn't get anything unfortunately and there was only one chest in there and the last one, we glitch through this wall. Ooh, okay. And there is three chests in here. So a common chest. Ooh, there we go. We got one. We got a soul from a chest there. And let's move over onto the next one. Unlucky we couldn't get another one. And we got two already. So I'm going to wait out for the rest of the chest to spawn. We need another three of those souls, which is super, super nice to complete that part of the quest. All right, here, guys. Well, hopefully these might be our last chests we need to open here because... We need one more soul, and there we go. We got our final soul, and we managed to get something pretty, pretty cool. And I'm not going to lie, it looks a little bit funny. Let me just show you guys after we've opened these last two chests. We got two souls. Just take a look at my character now. Oh, it's, it's a little bit glitched. Let me re-equip it really quickly. All right, well, it seems to be glitched with my hair, but we managed to get a pumpkin hat for our character. We got this out one of the chests, and it gives us 10% XP gain, which is pretty nice and pretty cool. But we need to go back over to the Halloween Island and carry on with our quest. All right, and let's continue on with our quest. So there is your five souls. Well, it looks like you managed to do that. Find those souls. Well done. Here's your prize. 
Uh, Flame Reaper Cape or something? I don't know. I didn't read that very quickly. It flashed up very, very fast. Oh, okay. So we're collecting the Flame Reaper set now, which is actually really, really good. I'm not even going to lie. These mythicals are nice. It gives you more damage and more stat gain. That's pretty nice. And it's going to look really, really cool. But let's continue on with this quest. So let's continue uh, talk to progress the quest line. Um, blah, 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 blah. First start by defeating those scarecrows. Okay, well, oh, the quest on the right-hand side has changed. We need to take out 35 scarecrows. There is 35 scarecrows taken out. So let's continue on with the quest. And it just wants to take out 25 Viking zombies now. So again, shouldn't be too bad. We can one-shot everything on this island. 25 Viking zombies done. And let's move on once again. And now it wants 15 battle mages. All 15 of the battle mages have now been taken out. And now it wants us to take vampire bounty eyes out. Five vampire bounty eyes. Um, now, I'm not too sure which guys these actually are. I'm going to guess it's one of the bosses that are just sat around. Um, let me quickly go have a look. This might count as one. So let me see if I can quickly steal that. And yes, it was. Okay, so I think it's just the big bosses over on this island. We need to take out another four to carry on. All right, and here is the fifth time we are going to take that one out. And we have completed that stage of the quest. I'm curious to know how many more stages of this quest there's going to be or whether that was the last stage. So again, let's continue. I think we just got a Reaper mask as well. And the last one it wants to take out is the Redfield Vampire, which explains why every time I come to this island, there's someone AFK sat here. So we need to take this out just once. But before we go ahead and take that out, let's check out the new gear that we got. Flame Reaper Mask. Oh my goodness, that looks so, so awesome. Let's take a quick look. So let's turn off the horrible colors on our screen. This is really, really cool. Developers of One Fruit, I like it. But anyway, let's take out one of these Redfield vampires and I will catch you guys back in just a second. And we are back once again. We have taken that boss out once. It takes so long to respawn. I'm not even going to lie. But there we go. Let's continue on with our quest. Um, and now what does it want? Um, now I can get a powerful pumpkin. When I get it, I can make an incredible weapon for you. Now, this is where it gets a little bit techy, guys. Apparently, this pumpkin is really, really difficult to drop. And it only drops from this boss here. So what I'm going to do, guys, I am going to go to bed and I'm going to come back in the morning after AFK in here. And fingers crossed we have the powerful pumpkin. If I get it tonight, I'll be back on recording. If not, I will see you guys in the morning. And good morning, guys. So last night we did actually manage to get the powerful pumpkin. If we come into our bag here, here we go. It is the mythic powerful pumpkin. So let's go ahead and finish off this quest and hand in the powerful pumpkin and progress with our quest line. And there we go, is the master of the souls. Um, do we need to talk again? Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, um, I have no idea what that's given. Let me quickly find out and have a look. All right, so future Rob here now. So from that quest, from the last stage of the quest, I was really confused on what I got. I got a really cool mythical fire reaper scythe. So we're going to go ahead and equip that and do a quick little showcase of this. And I'm not going to lie, guys. Let's turn the auto swing off because this looks absolutely awesome. Let's turn the horrible colors off. It looks super, super sick. Hopefully, it's pretty good. Let's give it a quick try. My sword level mastery, you guys can see, isn't the best, however. But let's have a couple of swings of this. Hey, I think that's like 7 million damage. Um, Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It'll have some really nice moves as well. Um... But I'm not going to lie, I'm too lazy to get the Sword Mastery up right now. And here we are, guys. We are at the brand new island. It's called the Fisherman Island. Uh, well, I don't think it's too brand new. A lot of you guys have probably played this a bunch. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty late to the party on this island. But this is the island where we're going to get leveled up the most now. So if we come over to the first quest, it is 12,500 for the first quest. Let's go ahead and accept that. Wants us to defeat Fisherman Outlaws. Now... I got a feeling these are going to be pretty tough just from how much health they have. So let's come over and have a look. How good actually is this fruit at taking things out? I mean, it's all right. It's not the best. It'll take a long, long time. 
So anyway, guys, I'm going to grind this off camera. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this game. I've got a pretty fun idea in the making for this game. So stay tuned for more on One Fruit Simulator. Also, suggest down below which game I should play next. I hope everything looked and sound good this video. I am streaming tomorrow. If you guys want to come stop by, come pre-light the stream on my channel. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed. Have a great and wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Peace out. In today's video, we will be playing One Fruit Simulator for 24 hours because we've got a lot of catch up to do before the huge Christmas update. So before we get into this, guys, if you guys do enjoy One Fruit Simulator and want to see more, make sure you guys drop a like. Also subscribe. We're so, so close to 18,000 subscribers. Enjoy the video, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back to One Fruit Simulator today, where we are back on our main account today because our main account has been lacking. We have really, really been slacking and lacking on this account because as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, we are only level 12,600. The max level, if we look up here, is 14,500. Yeah, we are really, really far behind. I was slacking when C3 came out. So today's goal, guys, is to completely catch up in this game and to get to level 14,500 and see how much progress we can make within 24 hours of playing this game. Now, our fruit has also lagged behind. We are only level 23,000 over here, where max is 29,000. That is absolutely crazy. And if you guys didn't know, they announced there is going to be a massive Christmas update this Christmas. So we need to get prepared for that. And we need to get as fully maxed out as we can on this game before that comes out. So without further ado, I have been over onto my Every Fruit in One Fruit, where we got Every Fruit in One Fruit Simulator account. And I have taken a Dragon Fruit because I really, really enjoyed this for grinding. So we're going to go ahead and eat this or put it into my face. And that wasn't the Dragon Fruit. That was the Phoenix Fruit. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Let's go ahead and eat the dragon fruit this time. And there we go. Can you guys see why I got confused? They they look pretty similar. No, guys, please. No. And all right, well, we're back over to C3 now, guys, after that really, really stupid and terrible start to this video. And we are going to come over to the final island over here, which I forget what it's actually called because I'm currently flying. But we are going to come over to the final island now, guys. First things first, we need to come over and set our spawn. And the second thing, I'm going to show you guys exactly why we decided to get the dragon fruit over the cheetah fruit. Mainly because this dragon fruit is so, so much better, guys. Honestly, for grinding, when you guys can use your auto clicker and tiny task... You can just sit in the middle of a bunch of enemies like this and you can hit a bunch at the same time. I mean, look at this. We can hit these two at the same time. I probably need to find a little bit better of a spot. But yeah, if we use our Z ability, we can hit both of these guys at the same time. If we use our full ultimate ability, we can hit them both at the same time. And genuinely, it's just got a big area of effect. So it's quite nice and easy to farm over here. So there is a bunch of quests over here. The one we've picked up is 12,500. There is a 13,000 quest over here, which is a boss. Once you get onto the boss, grinding is quite easy and quite quick, but everything else takes ages. There is a 13,500 just down there. And if we can fly, come on, let me fly. There we go. There is two quests over here. There is a 13,000 just around there. And this one is 12,750. So this is the next quest we will be going for, which by the looks of it is actually a mini boss. So we need to get over there ASAP. So there is actually a two times event on currently. So we are going to make the most of this. We've got all our boosts on two times uh, of every stat event. And let's sit between these Fishman Outlaws and let's grind as long as we can. And get as many levels as we can. Currently, 12,600. The next morning. And good morning, guys. Well, I woke up here. I woke up. I'd been killed so, so many times last night. People are so annoying in this game. I couldn't grind. But we are level 13,100. And I've just redeemed my daily rewards. And we got a dragon fruit, which is pretty nice. So we got it back. And we got a bomb fruit. So we can store that as well. And our fruit level is 24,092. So not too bad. Let's go ahead and activate everything again. Oh my goodness, guys. That was so annoying. Every time I play this game, people get killed. I don't have a private server. So uh, 
Yeah, anyway, level 13,000. Let's see what quest we can move on to next. There is 13,200 over here. Nah, I'm not too keen on that one. There's 13,500 over there. I think it's the one back here that we need to do, actually, for level 13,000 on the spot. Let's go have a look quickly. Is it this back right one? That's 12,750. All right, well, for some reason, this 13,000 quest just doesn't work. So we can go ahead and do the 12,750, which is just to defeat this boss over and over again. And that would be pretty, pretty nice for our AFK grinding and leveling up. Oh, we need to use our um, whatever you call this hacky. And let's just go ahead and smash through this because this gives us 1.25 billion XP, which is pretty nice. I'm not even going to lie. So we're going to AFK here until we can get a few more levels. Hopefully people don't come flying by and take me out. 12 seconds later. All right, guys. Well, I took a little break from this game for a day because I was absolutely sick and tired. I just kept getting killed over and over again. But I have just sat down for about an hour there and we have hit level 13,500. No AFK and I was playing that whole time. So I think this is the last quest over here. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, the final area over here, we just need to take out this final boss a bunch. Hopefully this guy's not going to take me out. My PvP still off. Honestly, guys, I, I either suck at this game or I'm just complaining a bunch. Anyway, we've got a thousand more levels to go. Our fruit is at level 25,000, so that's another 4,000. I think another AFK overnight will do that pretty easily. But let's take this one out really quickly. Hopefully, this counts towards our quest. Hopefully, we do enough damage because our uh, hacky isn't currently activated. And there we go. Right, it did count towards my quest, so we're just going to AFK here for another 1,000 levels. This guy's also got the refinery. That's looking kind of cool. All right, guys, and we're back again, and a couple of updates for you guys. So, we are level 14,337, so, so close to max. I also went over and traded with myself on my Every Fruit and One Fruit, where I got Every Fruit and One Fruit account. And give myself the revive fruit because now it's just single enemies. We need to do a bit more burst damage. So we have managed to get the revive fruit and it's really, really fun. The next thing is there is this skeleton king that I do need to farm an absolute bunch. Well, so I've heard anyway, because apparently this drops literally the best sword in the game and some really, really good gear to go along with that sword. So once we get max level as well, we are going to completely farm this and hopefully get some really, really good loot. Now, I'm not too sure how this revive fruit thing works just yet. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'll get the hang of it eventually. So we're just going to farm this and I got a little bit of loot whilst we we're farming as well. If I quickly go ahead and find it, we got this canine wrap, which is pretty cool. And we got this Neptune trident, which is pretty cool. So we're getting some all right loot loot as we're going through here not the best but this guy drops some of the best loot in the game so the next cut you guys will probably see me be in max level and then we'll most likely start afk at this boss because it does take a long long time to respawn i have no idea how long i've been going for I, the title will probably be farming or maxing out in 24 hours yeah, most likely a little bit longer than that because I have no idea how much longer we've been going for. Anyway, let's see what this does. Um, yeah, pretty good. I'll see you guys soon. And we're just about to take out the final boss. And there we go, guys. And we got the Fisherman God Cloth for completing that. We are now max level, as in level-wise, which is nice. We're also at level 26,000, so there's about another 3,000 more levels to go on our fruit level. So we are going to AFK that a little bit. First of all, let's go see what we just got there. Things are taking a little bit while to load here. But here we go. We got damage 5% and defense for 20%. So a bit more of a defensive thing. I'm not too bothered about that. So the next thing we are going to do, guys, we are going to come over to this little island where the boss likes to spawn, and we are going to max out our fruit level. This shouldn't take too long with the two times stat event, and we're going to work on maxing out our fruit, and once the fruit is maxed out, then we're going to work on maxing out our sword. So a bit shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, we can get a few drops when the boss spawns, and I will see you guys just before I go to bed, hopefully with level 29,000 fruit. Hopefully, we'll see. Later. All right, and good morning, guys. So, overnight, we managed to max out our fruit level to max 29,000. So, we have now got the maximum amount of damage. And this morning, I've just started leveling up the swords because we managed to get every single bit of loot dropped. Let me show you. So, we randomly got a shark guitar. I've never had this, so I think this boss dropped it. 
And most importantly, we've got the freezing salt, the brand new sword. So we're going to go ahead and equip that. I'm unsure. I'm sure you guys down in the comments can let me know which sword's better. Is the freezing soul better or is the fire reaper scythe better? I don't know. Anyway, coming over to accessories, we managed to get the skeleton suit, the mythic uh, accessory. We managed to get, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We got the skeleton hat over here and we got the skeleton scarf over here. Now, guys, look at our stats now. 49.07 on both gun damage and sword damage. So this is really, really good if you guys like to use either guns or swords. And 15% speed, which I have no idea where I get that from, if I'm honest with you. And, um... I mean, we're doing something weird with our legs, but look how cool we look now. With the sword combined, how awesome is this, guys? We're, we've got such good loot now. So the next thing we need to do, guys, is go ahead and upgrade this sword. So I need to go back to C2 and go to Water 77 to upgrade this sword. And over at Water 77, let's go ahead and upgrade our freezing soul. So let's start off with damage. It costs berries to start off with. And then berries and red metal, more red metal. I'm wondering if I'm going to have enough materials for this. Let's go ahead and max out our damage to start off with. And then attack speed is probably the next most important thing. So I don't know if we're going to be able to max this out, guys. There we go. We ran out of items on 25 sea metal for that one. And sea stone, I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't know what sea stone does. So let's see how far we can level this one up. And again, it's the 25 sea metal. So, I mean, it's not too bad. It's nearly max. It's two levels off being max. So, let's go ahead and try it out because we need to get some moves for this next. So, let's go ahead and pop this ability and then this ability. Let's get some moves. There we go. 600 moves. And we need mastery 1,000 for all the moves. So, let's try out our next move. Uh, Blizzard Banderol. Oh. And, well, I mean, it one shot, but we are now glitched in the wall. And let's try out our C move over here. Let's see what that does. Oh, it freezes them. That's quite nice. Uh, we have got Blizzard Slash over here. Let's try that. Again, freezes them. Oh, that's kind of nice. And we have got our big B ability here when this guy wants to respawn. Yeah, okay. This is looking nice. This is looking really nice. I can see why this sword is very sought after. Let's quickly go max out the mastery though, guys, just so we can get the most amount of damage out of it. And there we go, guys. So we have now maxed out the mastery over here. Looking super, super nice. But anyway, guys, we are going to round the video up there today. So that's been about 24 hours of grinding in this game. I mean, it was stretched over three days, but 24 hours of actually playing the game. So let me know if you guys want to see more one fruit. I've had a lot of comments asking for one fruit. I am working on a video. But guys, sometimes these one fruit videos can take nearly a week to make. It's absolutely crazy. Anyway, let me know suggestions for one fruit simulator down below. The update has been scheduled between the 19th and the 23rd of December. So big Christmas update. That will go crazy. Can't wait. But anyway, guys, have a great and wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Peace out. This week, Noob Vault is looking for some new games to play. Because, well, we won't talk about it. So this week, we are going to be jumping on three different games and returning to some that have actually already been on the channel once before, one of them being one of our most popular series. So before we get into this, if you guys do enjoy and want to see more like this, make sure you guys drop a like. Also, feel free to subscribe. And without further ado, enjoy the video, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back to One Fruit Simulator today. I never thought I'd be saying this because this is the first time we are jumping back on since the game was sold and taken over by some other people. But actually, the game has never actually went under. The game has never died. So we're back on it today. We are back on for an episode. And we're going to be checking out all the new stuff. I think we're still at max level because my XP in the bottom left is 187 million out of 46 million. So I'm not too sure the level has actually changed. I'm pretty sure we're still max. And let's just go ahead and check out what the last update was. So Tremor Awakening, you can now awaken the fruit. There's a new Magnet Fruit, Spring Fruit. Uh, you can now awaken the Dark, Lightning, Port, and Tremor Fruit. New accessories, 2x weekend. Uh, small message from the dev team, but uh, I'm too lazy to read that. So let's go ahead and jump over to C3 over here. And let's go see what's cracking over here. Let's go see what is new and what we can check out today. Okay, so over to C3 now, guys, and let's just go ahead and pull out our compass. So, 
this is where we got to. In fact, I don't actually remember this island, the Hazard Island over here. There is a Rose Kingdom, level 28,000 over there. Is there any more that we might have missed out? No, okay. I think there's two islands we need to go ahead and check out today. And by the looks of it, we're not actually max level. We might just be glitched or something down here. I'm not quite sure what's happening there because there's someone in the server which is level 22,000. That is absolutely insane. Oh, there's also a fruit here that I don't actually recognize. I don't recognize this fruit. Let's go ahead and store this and quickly check what this fruit is. Okay, well, this was the ghost fruit, which we've never actually tried out before. And there was actually another one over here. So let's just go ahead and collect all of those. If you guys didn't know, I did an episode where I collected every single fruit in the game. Oh my goodness, that one took absolutely ages. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and go over to the Hazard Island. And let's go see what's happening over there. And let's go see if we can level up just a little bit more. Okay, so here we are. Let's go ahead and set our spawn really quick, just in case we die over here. There we go, spawn point set. And I'm pretty sure over here, I just caught a glimpse, level 14,500 quests. So let's go ahead and pick this one up. And it wants us to defeat the white. All right, well, let me just double check if it's this Vice Admiral White over here. Oh, okay, it is. Okay, and we went up like 39 levels. Okay, that was pretty cool. And I think we need to get to level 15,000 for the next one. So we're just going to AFK over here and get to level 15,000 really quick because I want to make some progress over here and this might take a little while to do. So I'll see you guys after a quick little AFK session. All right, and we are back after a little bit more farming, guys, and we are now at level 15,000. So we can go ahead and move over on to, is it this quest over here? I can't really tell. Yeah, so let's move over on to the next quest over here, which is defeat the Firefox, which is, I'm pretty sure it's just this guy up here. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and defeat this Firefox and uh, let's complete this quest a couple of times. Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it's not really one that we can do over and over again, but let's just go ahead and do it nevertheless. And there we go. We have went and completed that stage of the quest and we got a bunch of XP for that. So I wonder what our next quest level is. I'm not too sure if it's on this side of the island or the next side. Let me have a quick explore around and find out really quick. And by the looks of it, it's over on this snowy island and we don't actually need too many levels. We need another about 600 levels and then we can go ahead and start with these quests. So let me go ahead and quickly grab all these levels. This video is probably going to be just a lot of farming. I do want to try and awaken the new Tremor Fruit, but I don't actually have one yet. So we're going to keep trying to get one. One eternity later. Okay, and good morning, guys. So I've just been playing for the past day, and we managed to max out our level at level 30,000. So pretty good progress so far. Our fruit level is 43,888, which is also insane. So, for the meantime, we have just been sat over here and we have been farming for these quake keys. We've just been farming this morning for these keys. And these are used to go into the raid to awaken the tremor fruit. You need to get essence drop, which is a 10% drop. Yeah, it's all so confusing. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into one of these raids today. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and try it out. The Good Beard Raid. Let's just go see what it's all about. And let's go ahead and see if we can complete it. So there's this raid that we need to go ahead and do, and then there's the Colosseum that we need to go ahead and try out. Now, I've had a little peek at the Colosseum, so that's all good. And okay, wow. Okay, this is looking really cool. Let's just wait for the raid to start, and let's get fighting. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we go. Um, Captain Goodbeard has 800 billion health. Okay, wow, that is a lot. Let's see if we can't take him out, though, because this might take a while. We've got 300 seconds, which is, is that like five minutes or something? It's roughly like five minutes. So we've just got to avoid a bunch, use our abilities a bunch, and hopefully not get taken out. So I'm going to queue a quick time lapse, and let's see how we get on. Well, um, <laughs> I got destroyed. Oh, my goodness. Maybe we won't be able to do that, guys. Wow. Um. Well, that was a little bit of a fail. I don't think I'll be able to do that without some help. So uh, we're going to leave that raid. Sorry, guys. That was a bit of a fail. Can we go ahead and buy a random fruit? This might make me feel better. Yeah, it certainly does make me feel better. Anyway, the next thing we're going to go ahead and check out, we're going to go over to the final world and we're going to fly over and check out the Colosseum because the Colosseum might be a little bit more manageable than what we've just tried. All right, so here we are over at the Colosseum, guys. And basically, there is a little NPC up here 
which is going to allow us to take on waves and waves of enemies. So let me quickly jump in over here and let me show you guys what this Colosseum is all about. The wave raid, we've got all of this, so let's jump in. So it's starting in 30 seconds. I will catch you guys then. All right, so let me show you how this works, guys. So basically, you stand in the middle and all these enemies will run towards you. All that you've got to do is use your abilities, take them all out, and complete the waves. Now, we'll go ahead and time-lapse a bunch of these waves because then we will get on to a big boss, which, I'm not going to lie, is a little bit difficult. I didn't manage to get past it. So we're going to go ahead and attempt it. We'll attempt it properly. So enjoy this quick time-lapse, guys. Alright here guys, so this is where the final boss will spawn with 500, nearly 600 billion health. Now this boss is also a little bit tricky to take out, so let's do our best and let's see how far we can get through. Last time I got like a quarter of the health down, so hopefully this time we might be able to do a little bit better. I think the, the way to do it is just keep ourselves moving and try not to get hit. Well... That, that's probably the whole point in most of it. But there you go. And we can actually see that we're actually doing a decent amount of damage. We just got to keep jumping over his head and keep getting our abilities off. So once again, enjoy the time lapse. Hopefully we don't fail this time. Okay, and we got so, so close, guys. The time ran out on that one. The, the health was so low. I just had to go all out in the end. But unfortunately, we can't do that either. And we're max level. I must just really suck at this game. So uh, make sure, guys, you leave me comments down below. Let me know how I can improve. But we are back on One Fruit Simulator. Drop a comment if you want to see more. Drop a like if you want to see more. But anyway, guys, a little bit of a fail of the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed nevertheless. Have a great and wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Peace out. Today, we are back inside of One Fruit Simulator because the brand new Easter update has just come out. And we are going to attempt to grind a couple of things in this update. But like normal, guys, I absolutely suck at this game. So before we get into this, if you guys do enjoy One Fruit Simulator and want to see more, make sure you guys drop a like. Also, feel free to subscribe. There are some really, really exciting things coming, so sorry for the lack of uploads, guys. But without further ado, enjoy the video, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back to One Fruit Simulator. Today, where the brand new Easter update part one has dropped just yesterday, so we're jumping on today. Easter update part one. There is a new electro fighting style. There's a new turtle island, five new accessories, and then there is awakened race for every single race. So we're going to try get human V2 today. There is a new sea beast, which is the sea serpent, and Easter event is just around the corner. Get a head start by collecting eggs around the map. So apparently you can just find these eggs. You just got to pick them up and you get some berries and stuff like that. There is a new raid package and a new Sea Beast tracker. Okay, that's pretty good. So there might be some game passes that we might have to go ahead and buy today. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look at this ra race raid package over here. So five primordial keys, five guru, however you say that, two, three hour of all boost, five respawn bosses. You get a bunch of stuff. Uh, you get a bunch of the essence as well. I don't actually know how much of the essence you need because we haven't started that quest yet, but that might be something we go ahead and buy. Now, I'm pretty sure, guys, we are already the human race. It's pretty tricky to uh, go ahead and find out. I'm not going to lie. So if we come over, we're just going to double check that we are a, a human race by go ahead and rolling it once again. So there we go. We're human race. And let me pop it up on screen right now, all the stats of the human race. So as you can see, the human gives you 30% stat gain, 15% XP coins mastery gain, 30% extra drop chance, which is super nice, 35% damage to all fighting styles, 50% to both black leg styles, uh, da -da 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 -da. increases conqueror hacky damage from 6.1 to 6.7 PVE only. So I really like the human race, so we're going to go ahead and try awaken that today. So enough waffling, guys. I'm pretty sure it's just up here to start the quest. Let's come over. 
and talk again to progress in the quest line. And there we go. Right. So it wants us to take out 8,000 enemies over in the third sea. Now, we're going to do this over time. The first thing we're going to go do today, though, guys, we're going to go check out the brand new Turtle Island, where the brand new max level, I'm guessing, 35,000? I'm not too sure. Let's head over there and see what it's all about. All right, and here we are, guys. And I'm not going to lie, from flying over, this is such a pretty map. I'm not going to lie. It's on top of, like, a turtle shell, and it's really, really cool looking. So let's go ahead and find our very first quest over here. And I'm guessing it is this... 31,000? No, there must be a 30,000 one somewhere. Okay, yeah, so here we go. Here is the level 30,000 quest giver over here, and defeat evil zoo villagers. Now, I'm a little bit curious what happened to my other quest. Did it just get rid of the 8,000 kills quest? I feel like it did. So, first things first in today's video, guys, let's go ahead and hit the max level. There we go. We are max level now, guys. Level 36,000. Wow. Okay, right. I can go ahead and turn my auto ability off now where we at. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And I think the brand new electric fighting style is just up here. And I think I've got more than enough berries to go ahead and buy it. All right. So here it is right at the top of the tower. Here is the brand new electric fighting style for 1 billion berries. Is that it? There we go. We have a learn the electric fighting style now where we have got one move, which is the electro dash. So if we go ahead and use this. Oh, I forget. I've got all my abilities turned off, but I'm sure this will be pretty cool. But I just wanted to get that for the video's sake. Okay, and the next thing we are going to go ahead and do is just give ourselves the rest of the game passes because I don't seem to think we've got all the game passes on this account. Well, not all the new ones anyway. So I've got default on the main account in here and we're just going to go ahead and gift ourselves a bunch of stuff. There you go. It's all loaded in. So as you can see, we don't have... Wait, you can actually just buy random fruits now? And you can just buy race spins. Okay, I didn't know that. There's double keys and essence, which will be essential for us. We don't need any more fruit storage. All the respawn bosses. All the skip Coliseum cooldown. Okay, so I think the only one we need is double keys and essence. And I think I may as well go ahead and give us this race pack as well. So as you can see, the default players account has not even touched this game one bit. Apart from he always jumps on to buy noob fault some stuff. And can I actually gift this? Oh, it doesn't look like I can gift the race and raid package. Ouch. Now, I'm curious. I wonder if I can just buy this a couple of times and just trade it over to Noob Fault. We're going to try that as well. So there we go. We've got a bunch of stuff here. And the next thing we were going to go ahead and gift was the double essence and double keys because that will be super, super helpful. There we go. We'll go ahead and gift this over to Noob Fault. So thank you guys very much for liking the videos. You guys allow me to do all this stuff. And there we go. Right. Let's go ahead and take Noob Fault in and see if we can go ahead and trade all this stuff. I mean, look, this is all that we've got. But if we can buy that multiple times, then we're in for a treat. Ah, well, unfortunately, we can only transfer the respawn bosses over now. So that kind of sucks a little bit. Uh, the default players account has just got a bunch of cool essence and stuff on it now. So I guess we will actually have to play the game and do it the hard way instead of just spending Robux today. All right, so next thing we are going to go ahead and do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and finally complete this 10,000 kills quest or... 8,000 for some some reason. I thought I thought it was 10,000. Oh, well, 8,000 enemies over in the third sea. I hope this is for the right one. Let me just double check. Enlightened human. Okay, yeah. So all that we're going to go ahead and do is go over to the easiest island over here or probably the place with the most grouped up enemies and take out 8,000 enemies. This might be an overnight job, so I'll probably see you guys in the morning. And if we come all the way to the back of the Fishman Island, the cube should just be sat here. I mean, it's a bit of an interesting concept, but there we go. Let's go ahead and hold E on this cube. All right, and let's go ahead and speak and continue on with our quest. And now it wants us to go to Turtle Island and find the stone once again. And the stone we are looking for, I can already see it from here, is just on top of this tower. So let's go ahead and hold our E key over here. And again, let's go back and talk to him for the quest line. All right, and let's go ahead and talk once again and talk again to progress the quest line. There is a mad scientist on Turtle Island who can help you. Bring me 150 human essence and we can go from there. Now, this is where it gets tricky because I do know where this raid is, but we have no primordial keys that we actually need. Unless that one just gave us one and by the looks of it, it doesn't. 
Now, to get these brand new primordial keys, guys, luckily, we've got our tracker over here. But we need to go track down some of these sea beasts, and I think they drop from there. I think they're the new sea beasts. So, we're going to go ahead and follow this arrow straight forwards, and uh, let's go see if we can take one out. Oh, okay, guys. Well, I think it just shows the locations they, they spawn in, because... By the looks of it, they, they, well, I know there's nothing here, but we're exactly on the spot. So let me go ahead and check out all these locations really quick. And, oh, hello. Um, well, we found one. Um, time to go ahead and transform. Okay, that is actually perfect timing there. Let's go ahead and transform into our dragon. And let's see if we can't take it out. I'm Now, I'm not much good at this fighting business. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can go ahead and take it out. It has 700 billion health, and I am having to use so many fingers on the keys right now, and hopefully we can take it out. Let's cue a quick time lapse and uh, take one of these guys out. And there we go. And we got an energy core, some red metal, and some of the other metal. But we didn't get a key, unfortunately. But that's completely fine. We're just going to go ahead and jump back in our boat and hopefully not die. And we're just going to go ahead and do some more farming. Hopefully we can get one of those. I've never actually seen one of these energy cores before. So let's have a look. A very powerful energy core. It seems that the sea monsters eat everything. I, I don't know what this does. Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys. Well, I've been grinding a good bit, and we have gotten zero of these keys. Zero primordial keys. It's absolutely ridiculous to get. And then I realized the essence is only like a 5% drop from these raids. Oh my goodness, guys. This is so, so tricky to do. This is such a grind. So I'm going to sack that off. That's a bit of a fail once again. But anyway, I was back over at spawn and I seen one of these eggs drop where you get berries and I just got a, a roughy egg. So if we come over here and look, we got a rare roughy egg. So I'm going to do a little bit of farming on that. But before that, I do want to actually go ahead and upgrade my gear just a little bit because my accessories are a little bit outdated. This is what we are currently using. A tiger fedora, one of these cloths and a, a god pain. And I've heard there's some pretty new good accessories that we can go ahead and get. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and grab one of those to start off with. Okay, and we are back once again, guys. And my luck sucks as well. I've been super, super unlucky. I haven't managed to get anything I wanted in the past couple of hours. This has been an absolute disaster. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to ask you guys for help down in the comments. Let me know tips and tricks I need to do to catch up in this game because... I'm not going to lie, I'm max level, but I don't feel like I do enough damage when it comes down to doing these raids. So give me tips and tricks down in the comments below, and we are going to wrap things up there for today. So I'm going to grind this game as much as I can, try get better and better for Easter Update Part 2. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys for Easter Update Part 2. There's so many exciting things coming with Star X Games as well, so check out the description for all the new game links down there. Anyway, guys... Have a great and wonderful rest of your day, everybody. I'm going to attempt to go and get V2 human. Peace out. Today, we are back on One Fruit Simulator. And today, guys, we are going to be awakening the strongest fruit inside of the game. That's right. We are going to be going ahead and getting the rubber fruit awakened in today's video. Now, the video does start off with us wanting to awaken the phoenix fruit, but we took a turn halfway through. So do stick around for us awakening the rubber fruit. But before we get into this, if you guys do enjoy One Fruit and want to see more, make sure you guys drop a like. Also, feel free to subscribe. And without further ado, enjoy the video, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back to One Fruit Simulator today. Since our last episode, a lot has changed. As you can see, we look completely different. We have managed to go ahead and get some really, really good accessories. Look at our item buffs over on the left-hand side. 90% fruit damage, 33% extra PvE damage. So I did a bit of research and got the best fruit damage and PvE damage accessories in the game. Did a little bit farming, which is really, really good. I also awakened the lightning fruit because we got a bunch of porkies and a bunch of lightning and a bunch of lightning essence as we were going through. So that's another thing that we did off camera. 
But today, guys, the main thing is there is a brand new update where if we have a look, new fruit awakening, the Phoenix awakening. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. There, and I think that's it. They have made it a bunch easier to get the race V2. It's all been reduced, and I think instead of 8,000 kills, it's only like a five, 500 or something now. It's absolutely crazy, and the Essence has a bigger chance of getting dropped, and all of that jazz. So we're going to try and farm some of those keys probably in our next episode. But today, we're just going to focus on this Phoenix Awakening. Now, if we come over into our shop, we do already have a permanent Phoenix Fruit. So this would be super, super helpful to go ahead and get. So, the first thing we need to go ahead and do, and I've already been doing this a little bit this morning, we need to go ahead and farm a bunch of these Phoenix Keys. Now, these Phoenix Keys are obtained from the White Beard that spawns just over back here, and uh, it's not too bad. There's Double Drops Weekend. I don't know if that's Double Drop Chance, I'm guessing, uh, but we've got the 2 times Keys in Essence Game Pass, so this shouldn't be too bad. So, we're going to farm a couple more of these, and then we're going to go ahead and grab a team and do a bunch of Phoenix Raids. So... I will catch you guys with a bunch more Phoenix keys. Hopefully, anyway. Later. All right, guys. And we have saved up a good bunch of keys. And we're getting some people in the lobby who have also got keys. If we have a look, 36 of these Phoenix keys have been gained. And I've already went ahead and done one of these raids. And it's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to catch you guys once we go inside this raid. And I'm going to do a quick time lapse of us doing a bunch of these raids. And hopefully getting a bunch of this Phoenix essence. I hope I can do this today. All right, guys. So here we are, and we are just about to go into this one. And we've got four pretty strong players in here. So we're going to use our hacky, and we're going to go ahead and do as much damage as we can. And hopefully, we can get a bunch of this essence pretty quick. So I've only got like an hour or so this morning to grind. So let's go ahead and use our hacky here. And let's go ahead and place down all our abilities. And guys, just take a look at how much a bunch of players can melt this. It's absolutely insane. But whilst I wait for my abilities to cool down, I'm just going to fly about. And then we jump back in. And then we use another Z ability. And hopefully not die. Oh my goodness, that was close. For some reason, it always like seems to get rid of my dodges. I don't know what happens there. But let's go ahead and jump in. Use our V ability, which is super, super strong. And just like that, that is the raid done. So we've got to farm this an absolute bunch. Hopefully get a bunch of essence. So I'll see you guys, hopefully, with a bunch of essence. All right, guys. And we're back once again. And that was taking quite a while. The Phoenix essence is just taking ages to drop. So we managed to get 14 Phoenix Essence from like about 15 raids that we did there. We were mix and matching. And then I've been getting this rubber essence because I seen the people I was working with have the gear four rubber fruit, the awakened one. And it's so, so ridiculously good. So we're going to take a turn into this video and we're going to direct our attention over to the rubber essence right now. Because we've just done two that we can solo and we've already got 12 of this essence. And instead of 250 Phoenix, we only need 116 of this essence. So I'm going to farm up a bunch of these keys and uh, go ahead and awaken the rubber fruit instead today. All right, and we are back once again, guys. And if we come into our bag, we have got 120 of this rubber essence. So I'm pretty sure we can now come over and let's come over to our shop and let's go ahead and find our rubber fruit. I've managed to get this on a permanent basis. And let's come over to the awakening person, which is just over here. And let's go ahead and try this. So we, I think we have got it. So we can go ahead and awaken one, two, Three, four, come on, we can keep going. Five, and I'm pretty sure if my calculations were okay. There we go. So if we go ahead and switch moveset. Oh, okay, so that's pretty cool. So we have now unlocked the Awakened Rubber Fruit. All that we need to do now is go ahead and get Mastery 600. So give me one second, I'll quickly do that. All right, there we go. So we have got all the moves. So let's go ahead and have a look. So first one is fourth gear, which makes us into this cool looking Luffy. And that changes all our moves. So we've got Zed, which is Kong Zoo, which is 
insane. We've got X, which is Kong or Kong or wrong. I think I said that right. Basically, you just punch a load. We've got Kong fly, so we can fly about. We have got the V move, which I, I really can't pronounce. Cul Culverin? Culverin? Yeah, that, you, you literally just slap someone. And then we have B over here, which is Rhino Schneider. I, let's, let's have a look. And we kick someone over there. Okay, nice. So we've got a bunch of really, really nice moves here. Have we used our F ability? I don't think we did. Let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Okay, looking really, really nice. But anyway, guys, we're going to wrap things up there for today because I can't really be bothered to farm for that Phoenix Fruit anymore. It takes so, so long and the raid's quite difficult, so I can't really be bothered. But we have improved our fruit a bunch. Again, drop comments down below. Give me tips on how I can improve even further. But from now until the next update, I am going to stand and do a headstand and try to get my health as high as we can because our fruit and our level is already max stats. Anyway, guys. Have a great and wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Have a great and wonderful rest of your day. Peace out. Today we are back on One Fruit Simulator because they have just released part two of the Easter update and now there is a bunch of stuff for us to grind today. So today we're going to be trying to complete Easter update part two. So before we get into this and before we get into a lot of grinding today, make sure you guys drop a like. Also feel free to subscribe. Loads and loads of exciting news this week. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video because there is a massive announcement tomorrow and without further ado, Enjoy the video, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back to One Fruit Simulator today. Now, the new Easter update just came out last night and it disconnected me from everything. So, we're back on today. And just a quick update on things I've done our stats are getting pretty close to getting max. We just need sword, gun, and strength max, and then everything will be max, which is super, super awesome. I also, if we came over, I also got Human Awakened V2, so that's super, super nice. We've now got the increased drop rate, increased stats, and everything. Really, really helpful. And if we come over, the Easter update is here. So, Easter update part two. New Easter weapon, which is the Easter hammer, which we are going to go ahead and get today. 36 new Easter accessories. 36 that is so, so many. And from last episode, they also added an Ice Fruit Awakening, but I can't really be bothered to do that right now. I still need to get the Phoenix Awakening, but today we are going to be solely focused on the Easter Island. All right, and there are two new codes over in this update. So if we come over, the first one is Chungus Hammer, which gives you 120 minutes of everything boost. A little bit pointless for me currently. And if we go ahead and use the next one, so many eggs. Once again, same thing. So you guys get a total of four hours all round. Do we get any eggs from those codes though? I'm not too sure. Let's go have a look because these are pretty essential. So if we come over to the last area over in the C1, there is this Easter shop over here where you need a bunch of these eggs to get more of these eggs and to get a bunch of accessories. So you need a loads of eggs actually and you can get all of these in different colors the easter outfit in a bunch of different colors by the looks of it but the easter one in black seems to be the most expensive so um oh no it gets more expensive as you go down the roughy easter set is the most expensive so we are going to try ahead and get that there's also this easter key up here so we're going to go ahead and buy one because if we come just over to the right hand side here there is the Easter Raid, where we go in and we have to go ahead and defeat a brand new boss. Which, this brand new boss, I've already seen a little sneak peek of it. it. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. So, let's go ahead and transform in. And fingers crossed we can go ahead and take out this Easter boss pretty easily. I don't think it's got too much health, so it shouldn't be too much of a bother. And this is how we are going to go ahead and get the hammer dropped. So, we might have to do a good few of these today. Or we might get super, super lucky first time. So here we go. Here is the Chunkers boss. Oh my goodness. And as you can see, it's holding the hammer. So let's go ahead and do a bunch of burst damage over here. And oh, he, he's, he's hopped away. Okay, well, this might be a little bit tricky then if he's just going to hop around. But uh, let's see how much damage we can do. And cue a quick time lapse of me doing all of this. All right, and here we go. 
There we go. We took it out. And look how many of these eggs we get for completing it. All right. That was pretty awesome. Unfortunately, no hammer. And uh, someone let me know down below. Am I being really, really slow with this fruit? Because I feel like I didn't do too much burst DPS there. But that's pretty good. We got a bunch of eggs. Now, also, you get a bunch of eggs dropped from literally any NPC now. So that's pretty awesome. So I'm going to show a pretty cool way that I see it in the Discord on how we can go ahead and farm a bunch of these Easter eggs. But I'm pretty sure from completing that raid, that means I can just go ahead and buy another cape for another raid and hopefully just repeat this a bunch. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this raid an absolute bunch, hopefully get a bunch of these Easter eggs. And every time I complete one, I'm going to show you guys what I get. All right, guys. Well, we've been doing a little bit of farming. We only did a couple there, but just to get a grasp. But I want to get a bunch of these eggs so I don't have to keep going back and buying them. Now, every enemy in the game now can drop Easter eggs, which is super helpful that you don't have to run around and get them. And if we come all the way down to the bottom, how many do we need? We need 4,500 of each of these eggs. So let me show you guys a quick tactic I seen in the Discord. And uh, let's go see if it actually works. And let's go see if we can get loads and loads of Easter eggs. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, guys. We have come all the way over to the Clown Island over here. And as you can see, there is a bunch of enemies around here. So we're going to come back over to our shop. And we are going to transform back over for the Dragon Fruit just for the area of effect. All that we need to do, guys, is we are going to transform up. And we are going to tiny task our Z and B ability. Because if you look at our Z ability, look how many we can take out at once. And the B ability could get even more. I think the B ability gets all of these all around. And look how quick they spawn and look how quick you can take them out. All right, so let's go ahead and try this B ability then. So, oh, maybe we need to move up just a little bit up this way so we can get these two enemies up there. And guys, I look, look at that. It gets multiple waves of it done. And this is how we are just going to farm a bunch of eggs now. So I'm going to catch you guys in just a little bit and hopefully have a bunch of these eggs. Let's do a couple of hours of AFK. Later. All right. And we are back, guys. And if we come over to our bag here and just take a look at how many eggs we have. Once all of this moves out the screen, we've got 1,900 roughy eggs. 1100 blaze eggs and just under 800 beast eggs and that's after one hour of grinding guys one hour it's absolutely insane however we are going to go back over to the final island now guys and we're going to spend a couple of keys over here until we can go ahead and get the hammer because i really really want the hammer and then grinding for the accessories will be super super easy so I'm going to quickly change back over to my rubber fruit and I will catch you guys hopefully in a couple of raids. Hopefully it doesn't take too many raids. Again, I'm going to showcase everything and hopefully we can go ahead and get the hammer pretty quickly. All right, and we are back once again, guys, and we haven't really been having much luck getting this sword. We've done a bunch of raids, but we have saved up a bunch of these eggs. So I think we may as well come over to the shop and buy some of this Easter stuff over here. For some reason, the hardest ones for me to get are actually these roughy eggs. Weird, I know, but let's come over. So 1,500 of each, and there is three items we need. So let's go ahead and buy. Let's go ahead and do the hood, and let's go ahead and do the normal outfit. We can't buy this one. We will save up in due course. So let's come ahead and jump out of this transformation really quick, and let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so Ruffy Head it is 7.5% fruit damage and 5% speed. Uh, I, I don't really think it's the best. And it is the same for the Ruffy Easter outfit. So I am actually losing stats over on the left-hand side. But I think there's a bonus for having all of them on together. So we need to get that last piece pretty ASAP. Because we've got two of the eggs enough. We just need the Ruffy eggs enough. And this is what we are currently looking like right now. <laughs> Okay, we're looking pretty cool. I'm going to quickly go ahead and get 
I think it's just these Ruffy eggs we need. Yeah, well, I'm going to go ahead and get the last of these Ruffy eggs. And we'll be back in just a second. And we'll go ahead and complete the full set. And see what all the item buffs are for the best set in the game. All right, and we are back probably about an hour later, guys. And we can come all the way down and buy our Ruffy Easter basket over here. So... There we go. We have now bought the full set, and I'm going to be curious if there's going to be a full set buff. So, let's go ahead and equip this, and... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I, I don't even know what's just been added. We've got 25% damage. We've got, like, 60% defense. We're nearly at 2 million HP. 70% fruit damage, which isn't the best I can get, but it's pretty good. 5% PvE damage. Uh, all of this speed. And look at this, guys. 50% drop rate, 80% stats gain, 80% XP gain, 50% coins gain, 50% mastery gain. Wow. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to keep this set on forever now. And <laughs> look how cool we look as well. Let's take a look at this full set. Looking super, super awesome. Right, well, I'm going to go ahead and see if it's actually better at, with this drop rate. Because maybe we might be able to get more Easter eggs dropped I. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Oh, by the looks of it, it, it might already drop a bunch more, which is probably going to be worth it. So let's go ahead and get a bunch more and see. Let's have one last try anyway at getting that Easter hammer. If not, I will probably just have to call it a day. All right, guys. Well, I've had enough. We've done too many of those raids today. I've sat here farming Easter eggs and doing raids all day. I've had enough. I've had enough. But if you guys have enjoyed the One Fruit video today, make sure you guys drop a like. Also, feel free to subscribe. Remember, massive announcement in tomorrow's video. So make sure you guys come stop by for that. Anyway, guys, have a great and wonderful rest of your day. I'm just going to sit and farm more Easter eggs. Have a great and wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Peace out.